Hi there, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit late. <laughs> or one minute late, I think. Who have we got in the chat? We've had Mark pop in a little bit earlier. I don't know if Mark's still out there, but hi, Mark. Taz has also popped in as well. So Taz might be out there. Hey, Taz, good to see you again, buddy. M is here. <laughs> hi, Em. I hope that you've been having a good week. Amy is here as well. Hi, Amy. I hope that you're going well too. So this week I do have my forest sets. So these are all part of the most recent wave of... Um, <laughs> of um friend sets so the ones that we have got we've got like the little waterfall one which has come in in a really terribly crushed box <laughs> so i did actually order this as a click and collect and it was sort of like just in a plastic bag oh woodshop teacher is here as well <laughs> hey woodshop how are you going and joe is here too hey joe how are you so yeah it was um yeah so that's a little box that sort of got all crushed up but again that doesn't really worry um me because i um <laughs> yeah i got the cute water waterfall <laughs> so the crush box doesn't really worry me because i don't uh, keep boxes <laughs> finally managed to get that sentence out sorry I was trying to bring the chat up here <laughs> just in case I have to boot anyone out of this stream hopefully not we haven't had to do that for a few weeks and then I've also got the forest cabin set as well the forest house so I think that that's a really cute little build as well I um I have a funny feeling like I mean it is a medium size set so I think it's just going to be really skinny so I have a funny feeling that this is pretty much going to be a facade but again, I really like the look of that set. And in this one, we also get like a little raccoon as well. So I'm really excited about getting that. <laughs> and then the last set that I did pull out for tonight is the Forest Horseback Riding Center. So again, like quite a cool set. We've got a couple of new horses in here as well. And then it's also looking like we've got like a new little foal build as well so a little baby horse too so um let me know which ones you guys want to build first <laughs> so we'll see i seems like em's already mentioned the waterfall and i'd be quite keen to start off with the little set today but if anyone feels um particularly enthusiastic about a different set happy to go with the flu flow <laughs> <laughs> Robin just got back from the opticians. He asked me if I'd had my eyes checked before. I said, no, they've always been blue. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> oh, dear, that's funny. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know whether or not anyone's going to have any preference for where we start. Oh, gosh, I think I forgot my scissors again. <laughs> Okay, I've just got to quickly run to the next room, grab my scissors, and then I'll be back. Oh, it's shambles today. <laughs> it took a couple of minutes long, well, moments longer because I had to pat Pucky on the way. He's so cute. Alrighty. I don't see too many, like enthusiastic responses so let's go with the waterfall <laughs> i don't know where to put all this let's pop that there right yeah yep yeah, let's do it em let's do the waterfall first okay. <laughs> i had a feeling that that would be that would be the way that we'd be going so let's do that right <laughs> Cool, Taz is also saying the waterfall. Awesome. Let's do that one. I'll pop my scissors over there as well. Oh, Doc's here as well. Hey, Doc, how are you going, buddy? Hope that you are going along well. Right. And then my sad little crumpled box can then go in the rubbish pile on the floor. <laughs> oh, dear. 
And Joe's also saying do the waterfall as well. <laughs> and Doc's also saying a hearty hello to the dud, Taz. <laughs> yeah. It was actually really nice this morning. I kind of woke up and I was just um, in lying in bed with Pucky and whatever. And uh, I jumped onto YouTube and I was checking, like, what was going on, what videos had come out. And I saw that... Um, <laughs> I saw that uh, Taz was streaming so I was just like I jumped in the chat and I was having a little bit of a chat and I did end up joining them this morning I had to make myself a cuppa first <laughs> which was cool <laughs> so yeah My brother just had three stents put into three very occluded cardiac arteries. After the procedure, the doctor asked him if he had any questions. <laughs> My mother asked him if he'd be able to play the piano. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> right. We've got, <laughs> We've got a little squirrel. So that's that there. And then I think that we put together a uh, our mini dolls. And yeah, I know. That's what I was just thinking as well, Taz. It's always nice to see Doc in the chat. So let's pop our mini dolls together. And then I think I also have to do an acorn. Puckies. I've actually left the back door oops, a little bit open tonight so Pucky can come in and out as he pleases, which is usual, um, except for when it's a bit cold. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see how he goes. <laughs> oh dear, I know. Robin's coming out with all the good, good um, jokes. Oh, thanks, Em. That's so nice. That's awesome, mate. <laughs> On vacation. Well, I hope you're enjoying. It must be your summer vacation at the moment, isn't it? So I think that's always like the fun one. Or it was in Australia. We used to always prefer our summer vacation, which sort of also included like uh, Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> the doctor obviously didn't understand British humour and said, of course, to which Andrew replied, that's good because I couldn't beforehand. <laughs> oh, dear. No. Infinite smile. Thank you. That's really nice to see. <laughs> I think, is this the first time that you've popped into the chat, Infinite Smile? It's nice to have you here. Oh, yes. Okay, Woodshop. No, that's no worries. Happy to have you here for however long you can, as always. It's, it's cool to have you here to keep us <laughs> up to date with all things <laughs> Danish. Right, we've done our little... Um, done our little scooter so that's done as well oh we've still got to do our acorn as well I think <laughs> not forget that I've got my um second jab on Tuesday as well woodshop teacher so we'll see hopefully oh mama lego is here <laughs> morning mama lego <laughs> I was just saying to the chat that I was in uh, Taz's stream earlier and um oh and mama lego was there with us as well and she was just like are you streaming tomorrow and i was just like well later my day but yeah it's your morning <laughs> so yeah <laughs> i was thinking that robin i was thinking that your brother was a, a, a doctor or a surgeon or something medical <laughs> brother is a professor of obstetrics in California had been ignoring severe chest pains for several days <laughs> guys can hear pucky barking I'll probably do that 8 a.m here yes <laughs> 8 a.m 8 p.m here <laughs> yeah pucky's barking tonight hopefully the uh, neighbors won't hate him too much for barking <laughs> I always get worried that they will yeah. 
so yeah today's just been like a pretty chilled day for me as well obviously i woke up and watched a little bit of lego youtube which was kind of cool caught up with taz and josh was there as well um brett was on the stream uh, before i was but then we sort of ended up swapping out met a few other builders that are new to me lego builders that are new to me so it was really cool too 8 a.m <laughs> yeah fuck you i know <laughs> And Mama Lego say, only half awake here. Yes, so have a nice cuppa or something to get your day started, Mama Lego. <laughs> um, and then for a lot of the rest of the day, I was just sort of on the sofa and I think I ended up having not one <laughs> but two naps and I'm still really tired. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bit bit uh, sad and sorry for myself at the moment <laughs> which I shouldn't be after two naps but you know <laughs> oh my gosh Pucky is going to be oh yes no that's okay Amy I I did think that you might have been going to well I kind of knew that you were going to your sister's today but that's fine it's really nice that you've stopped by so um, just stay and uh, for as long as you can but obviously when you have to duck off, yeah, yeah, do that. And I hope that you have a nice time with your sister as you usually do. So, yeah, it's always cool to um, <laughs> hear what, what people have been up to. Oh, my gosh, having to deal with my grandparents' new dog at the moment. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my gosh, Pucky is going to be barking down the neighbourhood because he knows that I won't tell him to shush while I'm on <laughs> live. Usually I have to go and call him in, tell him to sit down and be quiet and behave himself. <laughs> so, yeah, but then... um. I think another reason why I'm a little bit tired today is because I did end up going out last night. One of the people that I uh, used to work with at my previous workplace, um, she has just got her first job as a teacher. So she's finished up her university studies and she's going off to do teaching um, for high school students as well, which is really cool. So she was having some farewell drinks and stuff last night, which was really cool to catch up with some of my Old, old workmates, <laughs> previous workmates, workmates of my past. So, yeah, that was a really fun night. Um, but I wasn't out really all that late and I only had a couple of glasses of wine as well, but it was still really fun. We were doing lots of uh, laughing and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, fun. Fun and frivolity. <laughs> The grammar police have arrived. It depends on <laughs> where where you're saying that, that that there should be a Z. I know that you guys in the States love a good Z in every single word, whereas in Australia we prefer our S's like, like the British. <laughs> I hope the kids are better behaved in Australian schools. Uh, yeah, I think that she's ended up at, at a pretty, um, like in a pretty interesting area. So I think that there are a few students that do struggle with with a lot of things at the at the school that she's going to. But um, she's sort of going to be teaching across different age brackets and a few different subjects as well, which should be really really cool. And she's and she's yeah, we'll see we'll see how she goes. I think that she'll be right. <laughs> she gets going <laughs> yeah, where's that part <laughs> and oh yes and then Robin's asking here what do folks think of the UCS gunship personally I'm underwhelmed oh get the bricks here as well hey mate it's nice to see you again <laughs> hope that you're going well I um met get the brick this morning in um at Taz's stream so that was really cool Oh my gosh, Mrs. H taught at a top grammar school and the kids were just as unruly. The teachers were worse, incredibly racist too. Yeah, I 
I have done a few like um, school talks. So in a, in a few previous different roles, I'd go out to different high schools and deliver school talks as part of like health education and health science and those sorts of things, um, which I always really enjoyed. And I really liked hanging out with the kids. But I think it's a bit different as like a guest, <laughs> guest, guest appearance, a guest lecturer, rather than talking to them all the time. And I think it was also that whole thing where a lot of the time the, the behaviour of the kids really depended on the behaviour of the teacher. So when the teacher was really well liked and the kids got along with the teacher, then they'd usually be like um, pretty, pretty cool with them. Um, but I think it also sort of depended. And a lot of the time I would also say that <laughs> usually the kids were better behaved <laughs> for me. <laughs> at some of in some of the more rough areas as well there were a few nice private schools that I went to but some of the private schools were were a bit into it much <laughs> so <myself. laughs> and Darren and Coralie are here hi guys hope you're still going okay over there in Ballarat get the brick is saying that he likes the gunships that's really cool and M saying, I can't wait for all these new things to be in the States. Yes, get the brick saying, nice to meet me too. Thanks, get the brick. It's lovely to have you here. And then M saying, not a huge gunship fan myself, but it is cool. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't know enough about Star Wars to be able to. Is it Star Wars? <laughs> I don't know enough about Star Wars. I say with no confidence whatsoever to be able to comment on it. Um, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I think, I don't know. Yeah. It'll be interesting to hear more from a, some of the Star Wars fans as to, as to their thoughts on it and those sorts of things. But um, I don't know. I did see a few photos that Holly from Potter Minifig Pals had put up on her Instagram, um, which looked kind of cool. So yeah. And then, cool. Oh, cool. Emma and Mia are here. <laughs> Hi, guys. I um I saw you comment on my video the other day, but it's one of those comments that sort of ended up in a weird space on my YouTube channel. So I'll have to see if I can go into the back end and um, find that. But yeah, it's lovely to have you guys here as well. And then Robin saying, I'm looking forward to the La Katrina brickheads and the vault. Is it VWT2? <laughs> Is that VW for Volkswagen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think that the Lakashina brick head looks really cool. So I think that that's like a really um, nice looking build. Um, but as many of you know, like brick heads isn't really like super my thing. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Get the brick. Yeah. I, I see, yeah. How many figs does it come with? Because I know probably one of the excitement mm -hmm. about the Daily Bugle was how many figs did the Daily Bugle come with, came with? That came with loads. That came with like eight or ten or something completely intense and ridiculous, didn't it? And so I think that that's where, um, <laughs> that's where that difference is. Oh, and Corne is here. Whoops. Yay. We are building our little range of forest sets tonight, Corne. So I think that you'll be happy <laughs> with some of these. So the waterfall is what I'm building at the moment. So Em and I really wanted to get started on this one. And I know how much you like the riding sets. So we might be able to build up the forest horseback riding centre. And then I've also got the little forest cabin house thing as well so we'll see we'll see what we can get to and if anyone has a preference around what we build and all of those sorts of things I know that for the last couple of weeks I've been building very slowly <laughs> so and normally I could uh, race through uh, three sets in, in a stream but we'll see horse set okay well we'll build up the horse set next then <laughs> it's not that much to go on this one as well so happy to do that Porto. Right, and then, um, <laughs> and then it was me too. I wish there were sausage rolls here as well. Oh, yum. 
and then and then British is saying, yep, the fact that there's no pilot. Oh, only two figures. Oh, M saying 20 something. So I think that that might be for the Daily Bugle. Woodshop teacher is a bit like me, not really into Star Wars. Um, oh, Technic Land Rover at 30% off. That's a score. Wow, that's cool. So hopefully that might be a little bit of a uh, vaccination reward. <laughs> Oh, the bugle had 25. Oh, my gosh, yes. Okay, yeah, so more than what I thought it had. Oh my, I've, I've been trying to cover my eyes over the daily bugle because I want that one and I want the ice palace and I can't <laughs> for either of them at the moment. <laughs> so I'm saying horses. Cool. And then sorting this evening, have Ruth on and in the distant background, <laughs> something TV, the birds. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Emma and Mia are asking, what's my favourite Lego set? My favourite theme is the Lego Elves. And out of all the Lego Elves sets, my favourite set out of all of them is um, the Song of the Wind Dragon set. I just loved that. I just loved the build experience of that. I loved the dragon that we got with that. I loved the concept of the floating islands with all the music. I just thought that it was absolutely beautiful. Robin's loving the Land Rover set as well. So that seems like a good score for <laughs> Taze. And then, oh, my gosh, Corne's ordering the Ice Castle in two days. He has the money ready to go. Yes. <laughs> Brett's late because someone said we needed sausage rolls. Just hand them around to everyone, Brett. <laughs> we'll all take a sausage roll each. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Time for some four and twenty. Yes, we'll, have, we'll get those sorted as well. Um, <laughs> oh, and Brickish is going good, but just really hot. Oh, Home Alone, of course. Can't wait for the best set to come. Home Alone. Oh my gosh, that should be that should be cool. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think. I think. I think. I think. Do we have Black Friday? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I think we sort of do. I think we sort of do. Oh, and Pink Gamer is here as well. <laughs> hey, Pink Gamer. Let us know your thoughts on the Black Widow because um, I think you went and saw that last week, didn't you? So hopefully you can give us a little bit of a review. I haven't seen it yet. Em's definitely asking for a sausage roll, so pass that along <laughs> to Em Brett. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all take a sausage troll. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. I Like, I just absolutely love, love the elves theme. I think it's so beautiful. And I think it's like one of those funny things because I think that there are some sets where you get and you sort of go, oh, I was really looking forward to building this, but the actual build experience isn't that fantastic. Um, and I think that the flower bouquet, that was probably one... <laughs> build experience that I really struggled with there was a lot of repetition that the instructions were really difficult because they were still on the black pages um yeah I was having a bit of a nightmare with the flower bouquet but in saying that the finished product is absolutely gorgeous and I still got those flowers like in a vase you know in my dining like just next to my dining room table and stuff but I just again the the guardians of the galaxy spaceship as well was a build experience where i was just like i've never built a spaceship before and i absolutely love building that so yeah i think that there's a few different considerations where you just sort of go yeah it does it does depend oh my gosh yum robin just ate some two lovely jamaican lamb patties i think that that might be why Park, pucky's barking so much because <laughs> some lamb patties as well <laughs> Oh my gosh, Gorne. <gasps> no. But it's nice to rebuild. You've got a you've got a little bit of a break from uni at the moment. So that's nice to rebuild. Yes, Woodshop, take care of yourself and I hope that everything goes okay and that you're one of those lucky symptom-free people as well. And we'll catch you soon as well. So take care of yourself and everything. You might already be gone. <laughs> oh no, Pink Gamer. Oh my gosh, that's that's oh that's terrible. Yes, you rest up. Make sure that you rest up and and take care of yourself and just make sure that you're looking after yourself as well. That's really important. 
<laughs> I don't know what to do with Paki. He must be upsetting the neighbour so much with all the barking. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait for the royal stable. I think they should have had Merinda in it. Oh, Merida in it. Yes, especially if it's a stable. She's definitely one of the horse princesses for sure. And then people are saying hello and goodbye, Mama Lego. Oh, looking forward to Bird of Paradise, hoping it will be a great build. Yes. <laughs> yes, me too. <laughs> and then... And then Darren and Coralie want some sausage rolls as well, Brett, so just make sure that you pass the sausage rolls over to them as well. Or, Em, if you've still got the sausage rolls, just keep passing them round. <laughs> I know, the adults are talking. Oh, my gosh, no, he never listens to me at all, ever. <laughs> I think he's just come in. He's come in his dog door. I can hear him. <laughs> he's so cheeky. My lovely little puglet boy. Right, I am going quite well with this. <laughs> I always get caught out with how to attach round plates to these things. So it's like one of the most simplest parts of the build and it just catches me up every time. Oh, my gosh, and Em's, Em's having chocolate muffins. You can pass some around to the chat as well too, please, Em. <laughs> I'll take a chocolate muffin up, the sausage rolls, please. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes, okay. Oh, Joe needs a sausage roll as well, Brett. <laughs> oh, Corne's saying that he's seen a video of the Bird of Paradise and the build does not look like a fun one. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting with those, um, the botanical theme as well just to, to figure out how those builds go i have been meaning to get the bonsai tree but i haven't gotten that yet and i would really like to get the bird of paradise but i haven't gotten that yet either <laughs> i don't know i'll see how i go with those um and that type of stuff um but uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's just it's. I think it's just probably like a really different style of building. That's kind of what I picked up from like the flower bouquet. Is that it? Sort of is a yeah. It's a, just a different sort of build style. But I also noticed that last week when I was building some of the video sets as well that the build style for those was sort of like quite different too. So yeah, I think there's just different things. Um, going on <laughs> oh my gosh bring pink gamer it kind of sucks that, it, that I got it now because it's so nice weather and it's been raining when I wasn't in self-isolation no <laughs> hopefully you can I don't know enjoy some sun sunshine in your backyard or, or on your balcony or something like that there's our little waterfall that's all finished oh hang on I'll pop the little squirrel in up here we've got to have our squirrel there and then I might just pop the other little acorn over here too <laughs> So that's the little waterfall set. This this way of building trees hasn't been done in a friend set before, I don't think. So that's kind of new to the friends theme. Again, this piece in the middle that's that's um, making up the waterfall. This transparent piece is one of the pearlescent pieces as well. So, and I think that because this is like one of the smaller sets and it's quite affordable, again, some of those parts might be useful to get for other things if you're not into any of the friends sets or if that's not a theme for you and then as promised next up we'll do the writing center <laughs> so let's scroll up where are we have oh my gosh our favorite breakfast food oh my gosh get the brick you've now asked <laughs> one of those questions especially to this this chat um as as well as i think the running joke in my chats have always been that there's a lot of foodies that join in with my streams as well and we're constantly talking about, obviously you've probably already heard talking about sausage rolls and talking about chocolate muffins and i think no i know i know for sure that breakfast is my favorite meal of the day because 
I love all the options for breakfast. Absolutely love eating cereal. Happy to have cereal for snacks and for dessert and all sorts of stuff. Love cereal. Again, in the winter time, which is what it is now here in Australia, really enjoy having porridge before bed. Think that that's awesome. I also really enjoy like fried eggs and toast and beans and bacon and a cooked breakfast. Love a good cooked breakfast. <laughs> um, quite often. Often, if we go out to a cafe or something like that with my mum or whatever, we'll go somewhere to get an all-day breakfast because that's just a thing. <laughs> um, even things like, you know, uh, a bacon and egg McMuffin or whatever like that, yeah, happy to do them too. So I don't, I don't think that there's a breakfast food that I don't enjoy. <laughs> so love, love all breakfast foods. Right, let's see what's happening. There's bag number one. Excellent. That's right off the mark. And then what else do you have? Two, three, six, five. Oh, a little random bit bag. <laughs> six. Yep, six bags. <laughs> so that's really cool. Yeah, the, yeah, it does. I think that you're right. It does look like it comes with a vase as well. Definitely. Oh my God, M donuts. <laughs> oh, Asti. Cool. Let me know if, how to say your name correctly as well, because I'll probably keep trying to put an R in it. So I'm hoping that it's Asti. Let me know if that's right. Oh, Mama Lego saying, oh my gosh, bonsai tree was frustrating. It kept on falling apart. No, 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 no. And Doc saying hello to everyone as well, which is lovely. M's just subbed to get the brick, which is really cool. Yes yes it looks so cool love all the details yeah I saw your video on this one as well which was really cool so I thought I was smiling to myself <laughs> when I was building this one because I was just like oh I've already seen some some of these it is it's a really cute little build Joe. yeah for sure love it oh my gosh that is super lucky pink gamer if I got it got ill the day after i would have to miss your holiday no don't do that stay safe stay happy healthy we love all of that stuff but yeah cool oh my gosh where am i up to <laughs> really far behind ah. <laughs> love this set ah uh, no no stickers on that one <laughs> sticker free are there stickers on this one Oh, there are stickers on this one. I didn't see them in the little bag. Thanks for the reminder, Doc. I don't know whether or not you meant to do that, but you did that for me anyway. The trees are nice. Yeah, I think that they looked really, they look really cool. Two, two mini dolls. <laughs> two mini dolls in that set. Oh, cool. Love the writing centre. It's um, one of your new favourite sets. Yay, yay. Horse time activated. I know. We've got some new horses in here as well. So we might, I'll open up this one as well and check that. Thanks, Pink Gamer. As a friendly reminder, because I'm terrible with all the YouTube things <laughs> on this channel. Sorts of trouble. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll try not to crinkle for too much longer, gang. Love the waterfall. Yeah, I really love the new pearlescent pieces so much. And I have, I still, I've held my, held my promise and I still haven't watched any Ice Castle builds, the new Ice Castle. Um, but I did go over to Elle of Elle's channel and I did watch her parts review because I was just like, that's not really spoilers on the build. That's just spoilers of what parts are in the set. And there's quite a lot of the pearlescent arts in the ice castle as well which is really cool oh yes of course the lego elves blue dragon in the background yes so lovely marina the blue dragon she's absolutely beautiful really really pretty she's so gorgeous i really love the azure with the purple as well i always really liked the way that we got the elves wings as well because 
they're opaque down this end and then they sort of fade up to be transparent. Yeah, so that's Marina. Oh, and then I ended up getting a couple of the turtles as well, but um, a lot of the other elves stuff is up higher. <laughs> So you can't see all the all the elves dragons that I have. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I know, I know, Cordo. We've ended up with some really, um, we've ended up with some really cool figures though. I do really like the video figures, and then I I was really surprised last week at how um fun the builds were. So I do I do think that I will definitely end up getting more video sets. <laughs> we all have sausage rolls for breakfast, dinner, and tea and supper. Yeah, I know we're sausage roll fans. How beans became a part of uh, breakfast has to be a fascinating story. <laughs> I think. Well, it is. It is an Australian thing to have baked beans with a cooked breakfast, but I think that that came from the UK originally. So I think that that's part of us being, you know, in the in the colonies. <laughs> So, yeah, one of my favourite and very easy breakfasts to make is um, eggs and beans on toast. And I quite often will have that for dinner as well. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. And then, um, but I also, and then also, you know, things like super crispy, crispy bacon and those sorts of things as well, hash brown. Um, quite often with Australian breakfasts, we also do like cooked spinach. So that can end up as part of a, a cooked breakfast too. So, yeah. <laughs> All the Americans are going to be horrified at <laughs> the weird foods that we have. <laughs> oh, I said it right. Oh, good. Thanks, Asti. I'll have to try and remember that. And I'm sure every now and again my little mild dyslexia will kick in and I'll get it completely wrong. Oh, you haven't seen the Bird of Paradise yet? Yeah, have a, have a, have a, um, have a Google. And then oh, it seems that, oh, my gosh, I'm behind in the chat. <laughs> Scroll up again. I'll catch up. I'll catch up. I'm, I'm almost there. Yes. Get the brickers agreeing with you, Corona. They should have done something along the lines with some of the CMFs. Yeah, maybe that's right. Get the brick. It might have been like, like likeness right. So not being able to have a likeness. Oh, at Lego events, always have a block of Cadbury chocolate. Yay. Need all Lego dragons. I know I am. I think that that's where it would be such a slippery slope for me to fall down the rabbit hole of getting all the Ninjago dragons. <laughs> How well do I think a friend's theme CMF series would do? I'm not sure. I think it would be an interesting experiment. I think it would be really interesting to see how well the ice castle's doing in comparison to, say, the Disney castle. I think that that's probably the easiest comparison. And I think it would be interesting. I do know that quite often, like with um, LEV and Brick Emotion videos, who tend to do a lot of things with mini dolls, whenever they do like mini doll repaints, or if I know LEV quite often dollifies CMF series, so she sees if she can come up with a mini doll version of the official CMF mini figure. <laughs> and I think those videos are really popular, so it would be interesting to see. Oh my gosh, <laughs> internet's so bad, it's okay, <laughs> don't mind. Uh, not so keen on this horse set. It doesn't really match with the previous ones. The colours couldn't be more different. Yeah, um, I did wonder whether or not this was going to be something that would work or whether or not it would be something that would be kind of different. But I actually think that this is more supposed to go along with the forest sets because this one and um, this one and the waterfall all say like forest, the forest house and the forest horseback riding camp and um, the forest waterfall. So I think that then they might be more trying to match those ones in together. I don't know. Oh, Helen is here again this week. Welcome back, Helen. It's lovely to see you again, mate. <laughs> Throw out his favourite pug garments. He's settled now. <laughs> Beautiful dragon. Yeah. The, the elf, like, I mean, I love the elves dragons. Yeah. Thank you for liking the stream. <laughs> <laughs> love that scent. Yeah, me uh, am definitely a love, a love, love dragons. Oh, and Dan's here as well. Hey, Dan, I hope that you are well. 
It's great to see you in the chat again, mate. So, yeah, really, really beautiful. <laughs> All righty. And then Darren saying at Lego events, always have a block of Cadbury chocolate spot. <laughs> <laughs> by the kids told them it was the breakfast of champions <laughs> it is the breakfast of champions <laughs> oh my gosh even things like going back to get the bricks question about breakfast foods even things like a chocolate croissant and like a mocha or a hot chocolate that's a really really nice breakfast as well yum our first horse in this set gray horse with white splodges and a black mane and tail <laughs> which I think is a different colour. Uh, no. <laughs> I, I still, I, I know that Italy won, so with no confidence whatsoever. <laughs> so, but I think that the, uh, the English football fans have always been very passionate and intense <laughs> from what I can, can do. <laughs> and then... The breakfast for dinner is the best bacon, eggs, sausages, not a baked beans fan. Yeah, yeah. But it is a thing in Australia, Dan. I think that that's, that's what, what we were <laughs> throwing out there to get the brick. <laughs> that's akin to a brunch here, yeah. And But I think that that's the whole thing, like with myself and obviously Dan and possibly other Australians is that there's very much a mentality of breakfast any time of the day here. <laughs> But I've always been curious around the fact that I think in the States, in different parts of the US, there's grits and there's biscuits. And so I've always sort of been like, oh, I wonder how, how that would, you know, change things up for a cooked breakfast. <laughs> it's making question marks by the descriptions of Australian breakfast things. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Uh, Steve has to go to bed. Yes, no, that's fine. Thank you so much for stopping by and uh, saying hello in, in, in the stream. It was really lovely to have you here. You might already be asleep. <laughs> go on. <laughs> Good night. Dan loves Melbourne. Yeah, Melbourne has really nice food there as well, and it's really um, fun. <laughs> I've got to go for a bit to cook lunch. Yum. Hopefully Pink Gamer has ended up with some uh, inspiration around <laughs> what meals to have <laughs> I think that the new castle is not that playable compared to the Disney castle yeah I'm not too sure we'll have to see I don't want to be flexing all her friends sets on us <laughs> no because I'm a growing up <laughs> that's why doc <laughs> And then M saying that Doc was flexing the mech on a, on everyone yesterday. Oh, it's not a it's not a flex if it's true. <laughs> oh, at any convention you bring a box of donuts for donuts for the homies. <laughs> cool horse. Oh, how does a mini girl ride ride a horse? Oh, okay, let's do that. So we take out this little part. Mm. And then they've got like special saddles, oops, no, this way, that you pop in there and then you just stick the mini doll in there. So it sort of means that they ride the horse while standing up, which I don't particularly like, but that's that's how it's done. And then the horses also have um, their bridles. E oh, no, hang on. Which way am I going? This way? Am I doing this right? No. Oh, yeah. Now I've got it. Hang on. I've got it, gang. <laughs> they can't sit. No, they can't sit. <laughs> and then you can pop the, like, the little bridle on there and then they can hold on to that. That's how it sort of is done. <laughs> I like the horse, yes. Yeah, I really like the look of um, a lot of these horses too. I think that they're really pretty. And I like the fact that we're getting different colours as well. Uh, yeah, I, I love horse riding as well. I was never really all that good at it. So the only times that I've ever gone horse riding is like when you go on a trail. So they just sort of plop you on a horse that 
that knows where it's going and then someone just sort of leads you around, you know, the, the outback, <laughs> around the bush, around the forests. <laughs> Everybody's so homey. Yeah, I know. <laughs> But yeah, it's not great. It's not great. The saddle saddle looks good, so does the bridle, but the standing, yeah, it's a bit off. No worries, Dan, Dan, that's great. That's fine. Okay, I'm all caught up with the chat now. Finally, I can start building more. And then we've also got our little foal. So that's a new look foal as well. So I can get out. Let's do a comparison. Where are my animals? Where's my animal straw? <laughs> and this one. This one. Oh, that's horses. So that's a comparison of new versus old horse. So you can see the new horse is quite a lot longer, which I think is sort of quite nice. Slightly different stance, obviously the head sort of moves and then the flexible tail as well. So that's a bit different. Now let's see if I can find a foal. I've <laughs> got all and everything else here. <laughs> Everything's falling apart. All my extra horses. Uh, and there's, oh, there's my foals. Let's see, what colour is it? It's a different colour. We've got a little tan foal here. So that was our previous foal. And then that's our new foal, new little pony. So, yeah, quite different in height, definitely different in height. I might um, post some pics over on uh, Instagram as well so that then you guys can see that a bit better. Yay. And then <laughs> I like to ride gators more than horses. <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, gator meaning a quad, meaning a quad bike. Are you sure? Are you sure you don't mean alligator? We come from crocodile country here in Australia. Uh, yeah, the little micro doll. Yeah, so we we got one in this set. I can't remember what his name is, though. Let's see. <laughs> Kevin. Gosh, Kevin. <laughs> so I think that the micro doll is meant to be on the little pony like that, which is kind of cute. Uh, oh, is it? Is it meant to be a Shetlander pony? Okay, cool. Well, well that's handy to know. Um, yeah, a friend of mine actually has a Shetlander pony. And when I went to a mutual friend's daughter's birthday party, Carly bought along the little Shetland pony so all the kids could get to ride it. It was very cute and very adorable. <laughs> Micro doll, oh, me too. I absolutely love this little pony. And then we just have one of the little one by one round bricks to make like a little saddle or a or a um, blanket or whatever. The horse is bigger and the foal is smaller. Yes, unless that's meant to be a completely different type of horse. <laughs> This, this is meant to be a Shetlander pony that I've gotten completely wrong. So we'll see. <laughs> Just to clarify, if anyone here is riding an actual gator, it's Ruth. <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to check these things, Sam. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you guys get up to over there in the States. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, cool, Corno. Yep. Thanks for letting me know that. I um, yeah, I haven't checked everything out. Oh, and Ariella is here as well. <laughs> Hi, Ariella. Welcome on in. It's lovely to have you here again. We are just starting to build up the forest horseback riding centre. So that's what we're building at the moment. And we just finished building the gorgeous little waterfall set as well. So yeah, welcome on in. <laughs> it's my old job it's a, okay I'll take that I'm happy I'm happy to be a a, a, a gator rider I don't know <laughs> I don't know what type of a profession that would be um, <laughs> oh dear yeah so but it's interesting to see some of the new molds that we're getting with like the different sets um 
and and the new animals as well which has been really nice and it's sort of nice to see um that the new horse molds have been carried through as well into this set so the tan horse also has like the white mane and tail which is the same uh mane design that we got on one of the horses for the uh carnival something <laughs> gets an inside joke yeah it's not the first time that i've forgotten what's going on though is it am <laughs> it's terrible oh yes oh yeah it is too yeah good point corner yep i'm glad that you're um on it a bit more than i am i always end up with like really bad streamer brain whenever i try and like <laughs> forget everything i'm supposed to be remembering it's the worst <laughs> so yeah Oh my gosh, Josh plays Robo Block, Ro Roblox. Oh, welcome on in. It's nice to have you here. Um, my favourite set is, um, which is the second time that I've had this question in this, in this theme as well. So, um, anyone else in the chat, feel free to let Josh know as well what your favourite sets are too. Um, my favourite set is a Lego Elves set, which is. Um, uh, the Song of the Wind Dragon set, which is just up here on a shelf out of shot of the camera. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I know. It, it's, it's, uh, it's not as accurate as what it is when you're around, Corne. That's what happens. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I'd like to get a bunch of animals, yeah. I think that that's also been, like, one of my, um, yeah, an interesting factor <laughs> of my Lego collection as well because I do have so many extra animals <laughs> that I probably shouldn't really have. Every now and again, I, um, if I'm getting a Bricklink order, then I just sort of end up ordering extra animals <laughs> if there's any from that Bricklink seller. Oh, Daily Bugle, yeah, that's a really nice set as well, and very good choice, very good choice. It is um, loads of fun, that one. Oh, um, have I gone astray? Oh, yeah, I have completely gone astray. Uh oh, see, this is what happens when you're not in the stream. <laughs> I know, I know, it is. It's a challenge answering that one around favourite sets because, yeah, different sets for different reasons. Definitely. I completely agree with that, get the brick. Completely. I um, Like even the Guardians of the Galaxy spaceship, like that's been a real favourite set of mine. Um, I absolutely loved building the Disney castle because, <laughs> because that was... Um, like, I'd wanted that set for such a long time as well. Um, the downtown diner, which is just down here, out of shot as well, that's the first modular that I ever got. So that's, like, a really, like, special set as well. And that was also the modular that I wanted for such a long time. And I think that I just got ended up getting that right before it got discontinued. So it was sort of like, oh, my gosh, the Lego face is, is shining on me to be able to get that set as well. And thank you so much, Josh. That's really nice. That's really nice um, to say. I, I do appreciate that loads. <laughs> oh, I remember when I was trying to start the Shaggy Dog Army, but they were $20 a piece. Oh, my gosh, yes. I know. I know. I do end up, I do have quite a few, like, little dogs and stuff in my <laughs> secret animal drawer. <laughs> So, so that's my little extra bag of dogs just in case I ever need spare dogs because <laughs> I'm that person. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'll just put it, that's the one that's caught my eye most recently. Yeah, oh, my gosh. I, I don't think I've got a sausage dog yet um, and I'm not too sure if I've got a bulldog either. So... I did end up like getting a Malamute, which is like one of the Lego ones, and like a Scottish Terrier as well. And then obviously lots of the friends dogs as well. Oh, I do have a bulldog, I've got a white bulldog too. <laughs> so there's all sorts of dogs in there. 
oh thomas is here as well oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh Ted. yeah you'll be in tears for sure my started your quest to collect all the disney princesses i do see a, a little bit of a cryptic uh instagram story that you posted and i thought to myself at that time was that about a snow white mini doll <laughs> what's going on with that <laughs> yeah yeah you'll have to just Breathe deep like we always do when we're about to get another endeavour on another Lego collection. <laughs> and then whenever you're not on, on a live stream, just sit in the dark, saving on electricity, dry bread and a nice cup of water. That will just do you <laughs> for a little while. Um, I did build a lot of Lego. Oh, how long have I been building Lego for? I have... <laughs> I um, I did build Lego when I was like a kid, like in my childhood, but then I got back into Lego, I think in probably around about 2011. And then I think I, and then I got, ended up getting my first Lego friend set in 2013. And so that's really the one that sort of started me to be much more of a Lego collector as well as building. And then eventually leading into do more like bookshelf displays and lego cities and stuff <laughs> came out of the womb building an encharco set yeah i can imagine that <laughs> don't doubt that for a mere moment <laughs> oh my gosh thank you so much emma and mia i do really appreciate you saying that that's really really kind and it's oh it's midnight for josh oh my gosh yeah it's it's nine o'clock here for me so it's not too bad um but yeah i was um up a little bit earlier today too um and then i ended up jumping in with um lumberjack josh and uh, uh taz as well and had a bit of a lego morning too <laughs> It's really nice. I'm over my cup of coffee, my coffee, and uh, I had Anzac biscuits for breakfast this week. Oh, it may have been a cryptic post about Snow White. Uh oh. <laughs> genius. You are a genius, Em. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Oh, Tiana, yeah. Oh, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, that would probably be quite good. Um, I think... I think Amy was saying earlier as well on a, on a different stream that I think that we're getting a Tiana micro doll as well with one of the the new sets. So I think that that might be a little bit more promising for um, potentially getting another Tiana mini doll. So, yeah, that might be quite handy. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how we go with the next little lot of, of mini dolls as well. I think... Um, because we've only ever had Tiana once, Snow White once, and Merida once, they're probably going to be the, the tricky ones to find. Um, I know that when I've been looking, though, sometimes it's easier to find them in parts. So also part them out to see if that makes any difference um, too. Because I know that I think I've got extra Snow White hair and I think I've ended up with Merida's outfits a, a, a couple of times as well, but... It kind of depends on how accurate you want to be with your princesses as well. <laughs> okay, so with the horse riding station, we've ended up with another... Oh, hang on, I've got to put this little thing on top, don't I? Is that right? Am I doing these right? How come I've ended up with extra green cones? That's not something that should be happening, is it? I don't know. Okay, that's... We'll just... <laughs> It's a problem for future Ruth. We'll worry about that later. So that's our first little... Uh, area which is just like a little campfire we've also got marshmallow sticks which is now also making me hungry and uh, desperately desire for uh, marshmallows <laughs> the sausage rolls that Brett was passing out earlier I finished them the chocolate muffins that M was passing out earlier I finished those as well <laughs> Oh, cool. You're from New Zealand. Oh, I love that. I've got a lot of family in New Zealand. I've got, I had a few uh, aunts and cousins in Auckland, but they are, they've sort of moved up a little bit further north than Auckland now. And then I've also got quite a few um, cousins and my uncle uh, down in Queenstown. 
So yeah, New Zealand's beautiful. I've I've been to New Zealand a few times. Um, years and years ago i haven't been there for ages and ages but yeah we went a few times when i was like uh in school in primary school and in high school oh the restaurant from princess and the frog would be amazing yeah i agree and it would be really nice to get that yeah yeah it was really nice to um yeah yeah just keep an eye on it like it it might not work out that way but i think that sometimes you can actually sort of score that a bit um but again it kind of just depends as to where you're getting stuff from and all of those sorts of things it's really tricky um here in australia because quite often we don't end up with too many extras extra lego so that yeah it, it it's it's weird on Bricklink at the moment. Getting the stuff that I want, and we have our gorgeous little guide dog in this set. So Goldie, the guide dog, is here as well as another little animal that we've got. And then Tex saying, "Yeah, the restaurant would be cool as well." Fantastic. Yeah, the I think the I I've got the Disney Castle as well, and it it took me a long time to build too. But it was actually quite nice because when I was building the Disney Castle, that was actually when we had one of the seventy two hour live streams. So I actually ended up building that over that weekend because I'd sort of set aside that weekend just to chill out and relax at home and whatever. So yeah, it ended up being really nice and. I sort of jumped into a few different streams as a guest as well across the across the 72 hour live stream so that was also really nice um because it then meant that a few people across that weekend could see the progress <laughs> so that was actually quite good fun oh so yeah um yeah i've got yeah, the, the new Ice Castle is absolutely gorgeous, Josh. I can 100% agree with that as well. And there's our Savannah mini doll, who was actually one of, well, the first blind mini doll that we've ever gotten as well. So vision impaired, blind, um, who obviously also then gets matched in with Goldie, the guide dog. So that's Savannah. She's there. I actually really like Savannah's hair piece as well. I think that that's a really pretty hair piece too. Right, and it looks like next up we are building <laughs> Goldie's dog kennel. Yay! <laughs> more dogs, more dogs. And, oh, really? Oh, my gosh, Josh. That's so nice to hear. <laughs> yeah, the Maleficent one, yeah. She's just over there as well. She's just behind my webcam on my little bench over there. So, yeah, I'm glad that you enjoyed that one. I had lots of fun creating um the maleficent the fairy i think that the um maleficent movie was so beautiful and i just loved this the style of like the fairy kingdom and how like whimsical and gorgeous it looked and i thought that the angelina jolie like um fairy character was just really majestic with her beautiful wings and like a bit more of like the brown outfit and everything so i thought that it would be good fun to try and create that character and I think that might have actually also been my very first mini doll repaint <laughs> so that was really difficult and I honestly I don't know George if you watch um Claire from Brick Emotion and her fantastic mini doll repaints but they're so difficult like they're just really really difficult to do because it's such a small like surface and I was just like going oh my gosh I've got to try and get like the shape of the outfit even and the length of the sleeves at the same um, length and height or whatever as well. And I was just like, oh, my God, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I really like the way that that um, repaint turned out. So, yeah, she's just over there. So, yeah, thanks for letting me know that, Josh. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm saying I like food, so, of course, I want a restaurant. Yeah, more restaurant builds. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I know. Every time, um, yeah, you've definitely uh, found your little people then, haven't you, Em, if you like food, you're hanging out with the right group. 
Yeah. Oh, and Emma and Mia are saying that they also love the new Frozen Elsa Ice Castle. Yeah, I'm really hoping to be able to get hold of that set at some stage or another as well. I don't know how soon I'll be able to get that set, but yeah, yeah, I should be able to get hold of it at some stage or another, which will be really nice. Okay. Okay, right. <laughs> And then, cool. Oh my gosh, Mama Lego. So getting a haul from Brooks Toys today and getting to meet him and he just told me have an L set. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes, Mama Lego. Oh, yay. Oh, that sounds so cool. Oh, that's so nice. It's always really handy when you meet like a good um, brick seller in your area. Um, yeah, I've managed to meet a couple of, I've managed to meet one of the really good brick sellers here in Perth and then there's another another brick seller here in Perth that I get quite a few of my parts from as well who usually has what I want yeah I, had, I don't think I've I don't think I've seen the second one yet Josh so yeah I definitely want to I do actually have a mini doll uh, repaint that I'm working on at the moment I've actually been working on her for quite a while <laughs> so I, I think that I might try and get her finished off soon and, and try and post that video in the next few weeks two three weeks and see see how that one goes um so yeah yeah um which should be a really good fun one as well i i like i like how she how she's where she's up to now but i've just got to add some more details to she's got some spiky bits on her shoulders and some spiky bits off off the side of her outfit um on her arms as well like on her gloves or whatever so there's little goldie's doghouse so really cute so that's another little side build done and then obviously there's also a couple of bones that go in the dog bowl but <laughs> put them in there before I showed you guys they go flying <laughs> Josh is saying who doesn't like food oh my gosh yeah exactly you're in the right place then Josh <laughs> quite often this is a combined food and lego <laughs> live stream where we talk about delicious food and uh, lego as well all at the same time Oh, good point, Corner. Yes. Olaf's arms. Hope that will bring a new darker skin tone. Yeah, I did see like, um, I think, was it on um, Instagram? I think that there was a little bit of um, advocacy going on over on Instagram about trying to get a skin tone either between Olivia and Andrea's or between Olivia and like Emma's. So tr trying to have like maybe having four skin tones or maybe even five skin tones across, you know, um, figures, characters, <laughs> those things down there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no one knows what I mean unless, oh, oh hang on, I've gone backwards, gang. <laughs> I've gone rogue again. Oh, no one was keeping track of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, that's so nice, Mama Lego. Six hours away, but coming to Toronto to meet other people and for giving them all sets. Oh, cool. Oh, that sounds nice. It, it's probably, I think it must, I think it's just been really difficult for all of us during like lockdowns and huge changes to like how we can socialize and all of that sort of thing. So, yeah, I think it's I think it's been nice for people to be able to find excuses to connect in the real world <laughs> as well as um, online. And I think especially if if we're not getting that sort of social contact in the workplaces or with our families and friends, um, then it's sort of like oh, I can then hopefully track down and catch up with some of my um, Lego mates as well, which would be good. I remember a few streams ago I was saying if I ever got the chance to go over to London and catch up with my sister, then I'd have to also catch up with all my UK Lego buddies as well. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no, Josh. Corne was just saying in the chat earlier that he accidentally dropped his um, – one of his Harry Potter sets as well. I, and admittedly, I was actually moving this to do some more work on it one day and this actually completely smashed too as well. It was before it was finished though. <laughs> so it's just like, oh, my God, thank goodness. But I think that the nice thing about Lego is that we can actually rebuild it. 
So it is really frustrating. And I think I'm always more concerned if I was going to lose a part rather than putting it back together again. But yeah, at least we can, um, at least we can uh, <laughs> put Lego back together again, unlike some other things. I've smashed a few different like plates and stuff and cups and those sorts of things in my life. And I've sort of gone, oh my gosh, I can't really repair these, <laughs> have them be usable. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast and building with adorable I know there was a bit of a, a bit of a, a joke around um having a lego sausage roll stream as well that was coming on for a while too I was just like I think that that would just confuse everyone <laughs> oh bless ban him ban who and we don't like banning people <laughs> and then Text also saying we need another couple of skin tones. Uh, reddish brown is actually quite dark for a lot of the people that are trying to represent. Oh, yeah, especially with mini figures. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I think Andrea's skin tone is actually quite nice in comparison to like the reddish brown skin tone. But I think it would be nice to even have like a darker skin tone as well. But, yeah, we'll see. And then I think, you know, not that I'm an expert in skin tones or anything like that, but I think that it's also got a lot to do with undertones as well. And I'm not too sure if, like, a reddish undertone is that common in actual humans. But I have a funny feeling, like, with Andrea, she's a bit yellowy. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, UK Lego meetup. I know it would be so cool. <laughs> be like, right, take me to the Lego stores. <laughs> And the last time I was in the UK, I actually ended up having to buy a second suitcase in order to be able to take all the stuff that I'd bought in London home. <laughs> so it's just like, I'll have to remember that for this time. Put my small suitcase inside the big suitcase. <laughs> have three changes of clothes. <laughs> just come back with Lego. <laughs> I think I would probably be like really weird, especially at like a pick a brick wall I think I'd probably end up crying or do so, doing something really sad like that <laughs> oh yes mama lego yeah because you've got your um your uh trip as well coming up too so yeah you'll have to um do a, a lego catch up with lego friends I think that that would be so much fun it's definitely on my wish list don't know when, don't know how, but it would be great to sort of make that happen. I think it would be great. Yeah, it's one. Oh, smashed it. Oh, ban the person that smashed the Disney castle. No, we can't do that. Everyone has accidents, Sam. <laughs> yes, I know, I know, but I always live in the middle of nowhere. Well, not really, but I'm in Perth in Australia, so it's not really like a very common destination. <laughs> A lot of my Australian Lego mates are over east, so they're either in Sydney or Melbourne, and I haven't even met them yet. <laughs> so it's sort of like quite weird, really, to say that. <laughs> I just sit here with my dog, building Lego, <laughs> doing my thing. Oh my gosh, Josh, that sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely fantastic. Went to the UK and bought four huge sets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's what I'd be like as well. <laughs> Take, take me to all the Lego stores. <laughs> and then I'd just be like sat there with my pick a brick cups going, oh, my God, they're so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, exactly. Right. So this is still bag number two, and we're just building up like a little... I might think it must be part of the riding camp, but it sort of like must be off to one side. So I don't know whether or not this is like half stable, half house or exactly what it is. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully Corne can keep me on track and tell me exactly what's going on. I don't know. Um, oh, whoops. No, hang on. I've got it, gang. I almost went rogue again, but I've got it <laughs> sorting out. You're in America, Em. <laughs> yeah, the, I think that that would be the other thing that would also be uh, really cool as well would be to go to the States too. Um, and, yeah, especially I think it would be nice for me, it would be really nice to go to California because I think that that would be like kind of like the 
Western Australia of the United States. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, I know. Me too, Josh. Me too. It's terrible. Right. So we've finished off bag number two. So we've got that little build as well. So we've done the little dog kennel and this. So I think that that might be a little part of a stable as well. <laughs> Shortest trip I ever took. <laughs> How many passport stamps did you get, Em? <laughs> Loads? <laughs> Plenty? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh my gosh, yeah. Exact. I've I've never yeah, I I've never seen a pick a brick wall in my life, like in the real world. And <laughs> in in this universe, I've never seen a pick a brick cup. And so I think that that would be like it would be really strange. It would be really bizarre. Especially because it's nice seeing like other people's vlogs of like going to the Lego store and you know, these are the sets that are available here and this is what we picked up in this place and, like, little haul videos and those sorts of things. Like, I absolutely love the one that um, Thomas and Greg did, so Tech Productions and London Bridge Bricks. So that was, like, such an entertaining vlog, Tom. Like, it was really, really cool. It was so much fun because it literally made me feel like I was there with you guys. It was just like, oh, my God, this is a day out for all of us. <laughs> so cool. So, yeah, I, I, I agree. Get the brick. <laughs> and it's also that thing where I just sort of go, it's not just like getting parts on BrickLink or whatever is so fantastic, and I absolutely love the fact that I was able to track down BrickLink and I know that it exists. And then also being able to order parts online. So I've managed to order quite a lot of like little rainbow animals that come in the Lego Friends cubes through the online Lego, official Lego store thing. Um, but yeah, I think going to an actual Lego store and seeing a pick a brick wall would just, it would be fantastic. It would be wonderful. Everyone buys <laughs> Lego sets everywhere they go. Yes. Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah, visiting France in a couple of weeks. Oh, my gosh, Corne, that sounds absolutely amazing. So they have good Lego stalls there in the mall. Yeah, the rumour has started up again that Perth should be getting our uh, Lego store back. So um, we were meant to get a Lego store at the beginning of last year, beginning of 2020, and obviously those plans changed a little bit, which is fine. But, you know, that's a Lego store is not the priority in the world at that time. Um, but, yeah, the rumours now started back up again and it sounds like we might get um, a Lego store. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, which would be really cool. Um, I, yeah, that would be really good fun to be able to have that here in, here in WA. And just be able to get parts. And I think even like what you were saying as well, um, get the bricks too around certain parts. Like, you know, especially if people sort of go, oh, I, I suspect that I would probably end up using a lot of masonry bricks in a mock that I might do in the future. And because we've got masonry bricks on the picker book wall at the moment, I can just get a cup full of those. Or... Um, I know that quite a few people, you know, sort out their train tracks and they add like studs or they add like tiles to their to their railways in order to be able to secure them better. And, you know, if those parts are in a pick a brick wall, then it's like, oh, this is awesome. I can just grab them all in bulk from here. So, yeah, it does make it a lot, <laughs> a lot more difficult when um, when we don't have a Lego store close by. I don't read Wings of Fire. But I'll have to see. I'll see if I can track it, track it down. <laughs> I know, I know. It would be amazing as well. I think that that would be the whole problem. If I went to Europe, then I'd love to go around and meet everyone. I, I would absolutely love to go to Holland as well. I think that that would be really beautiful. I've never been there before, and I think that would be a place that I would really like to visit. So, yes. <laughs> and then definitely getting to hang out with you and Mama Bricks as well. Yes, I know. That would be fantastic. Yeah. It was a really, really fun uh, video, Thomas. It was great. Brick World Chicago. Yes, yeah, so Chicago. Oh, my gosh. See, now all you guys are doing is just <laughs> spending all my money on holidays. <laughs> You're telling me all the places that I really want to go and visit. <laughs> Not only so I can visit the Lego stores, but also get to hang out with you guys, <laughs> discuss all things Lego in person. <laughs> oh, dear. 
an M, M saying by the sets in France, a French ice castle. Oh, my gosh, yes. I know. I think it just depends as well. Um, oh, my gosh. <laughs> Josh is saying I was going to visit Texas, but COVID came and sat in my chair. <laughs> Looking up on Lego Store if there's any Lego sets. Yeah, I know, I know. It was, it's been actually quite interesting, I think, for a few of us who are like more like longer term builders. Um, when COVID came, how, um, how many other people just found their passion for Lego as well? And that was something that Josh was talking about this morning um, on Taz's, Taz's live stream. And I, I think that Josh actually made like a really good point, which was, you know, there's a lot of people that have come to the Lego hobby quite new, like over the last 18 months or so, which is so awesome because obviously when we're passionate about our hobby and passionate about building, then it's really nice to have more people connecting with that hobby as well. Um, but it's also been quite interesting, like Josh actually said, that the, a lot of the newer Lego builders don't realise that they can actually like modify sets and and make it their own and and do something unique with them and you know change them up and and I was just like yeah that's actually a really good point Josh like it would be it's really nice to be able to inspire newer builders to be able to sort of go you know, this set is actually quite small, I want to expand it or I want to mix this up or I love the Maleficent mini doll but let's make her different, let's modify her and paint her or whatever it happens to be. So, yeah. I I haven't ever been to a Legoland either, Josh. <laughs> I know um, Robin Hull, I don't know whether or not Robin's still in the chat, but, yeah, there's a Legoland in the UK close by to him, so I think that that would be, like, a really nice thing to do with Robin and Mrs H. I would absolutely love to hang out with them at, at Legoland. <laughs> right, Rhapsody. Rhapsody is the horse to get their name on the first nameplate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Disneyland Paris. See, to me, that just sounds so special and so exotic and so um, phenomenally amazing. And it's probably not all that far from you guys. <laughs> Next year, I won't probably be going to Disneyland Paris. I'll probably be going up to my mum and my stepdad's farm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know it's coming up. The 72-hour live stream is definitely coming up because next week, next week to a few of the regulars, next week it will be our Xmas in July build, which means that I will finally... <laughs> finally be able to build the elf clubhouse <laughs> which i ended up getting after the little festive season um because it had sold out before christmas last year so i managed to get hold of it early in this year and i was just like it feels really weird to be building uh, the elf club clubhouse as part of like the winter festive theme um in february <laughs> march or whenever it arrived and then I think that a few of us in one of my live streams were saying, oh, we should do it as a Christmas in July. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. And I realised that next Saturday is the 24th of July. So it's the perfect time to do our um, Elf Clubhouse build. And I think I think there will be special guests on during that stream as well who still haven't built their Elves Clubhouse either. <laughs> so that's going to be, like, really cool to do next week. So, yeah, and then I think that... The following week is the 31st and then the week after that it's the 72-hour live stream. So it's only we've only got two more live streams to go before we're then on to the 72-hour one. So that's going to be, like, really cool. I'm looking forward to that. And I think that there are actually a few newer people in the chat as well that might not have heard about the 72-hour live stream. And it's just, like, a really fun uh, little Lego event that's organised you know, with a few people um, in the YouTube Lego community. It's not really, you know, everyone that builds Lego in the YouTube community. It's just a handful of people, well, not a handful, there's quite a few <laughs> different channels that just sort of come together and um, have like a weekend on YouTube building Lego. And pretty much what happens is that 
our organizer, George, who has a channel called Butt Chop. Um, he just sort of allocates everyone a time slot. We usually swap out our thumbnails and try and do a bit more promotion and reminders that the 72 hour live stream is coming up. And then pretty much what happens is that from Friday to Sunday, um, people have just got their time slot and you just sort of go from channel to channel. So it's sort of like a round robin or like a pub crawl or however you want to sort of picture it, depending on your age. <laughs> Maybe not everyone's gone on a pub crawl. But, yeah, you just sort of go from one channel to the next channel to the next channel. And what's really cool about it is that quite often you'll see um, you know, the same names in the chat and quite often for the 72 hour live stream, I'll just have it on my telly and I'll be in the chat on my phone and I'll probably end up building some stuff on my dining room table. Um, and then you just get to meet like loads of really cool people via the 72 hour live stream. Um, yeah, so it's like a really fun thing. Um, I it was like it was really nice um a year or so ago that's actually how brett and i sort of became friends so i think that brett may be out there in chatland he's probably busy doing stuff with his trains and might not be necessarily chatting too much but brett and i just kept on seeing each other in each sort of 72 hour live stream across the event and got to chatting and we were just like oh yeah he's a really cool guy and and those sorts of things. And we've sort of been like Lego mates and mates since then, which was awesome. So, yeah. So it's a really fun thing. Am I doing this right? <laughs> am I am I doing this right? Corne's really not keeping track of where I'm up to at all. <laughs> I've been, oh my gosh, yes, Legoland in Denmark twice. Oh, that would be amazing. Absolutely amazing, yeah. <laughs> oh Jojo it's lovely to have you here mate oh it's so fantastic I hope that you're doing well welcome to one of my live streams I think this is the first time that we've chatted in in a live stream together which is cool um Jojo has a newish Lego channel it's probably been around for a few months and recently we sort of came across each other on Instagram and across each other on YouTube um, and Jojo does a lot of mock building with friend sets. So really cool, um, interesting videos. I know that recently you did a Mia's Treehouse remock as well. And I think, is it the library? You've recently done the library. I haven't seen that video yet. <laughs> and recently one of the library remocks as well. So, yeah, if, if anyone is into friends sets and friends themed stuff and want some inspiration around mocking friends builds and those sorts of things check out jojo's channel this also seems really nice as well we've chatted a little bit behind the scenes on instagram too <laughs> so yeah welcome jojo it's great to have you here mate oh corne already knows of jojo's channel yay <laughs> Oh my gosh, Josh, that's terrible. You got AirPods from your mom, then you broke his Disney castle. Oh dear, but it happens, it does happen. Don't feel too bad. And Sloth is here as well. Hi, Sloth, I hope that you're doing well, my friend. Welcome, welcome. And Sloth saying hello to all the mammals and the rip reptiles in the chat as well. Is that right, Em? <laughs> Not Sloth at and Em. <laughs> Sloth is in the house. Oh, you're building what? You're building yourself. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my gosh. I need to know more about that, Corno. <laughs> oh no, that's okay, Jojo. It was great to have you here. Yes, go and get the kids sorted out. I'll probably be here for another hour and a half or so if you've if you've got any time for that. But no worries if you can't duck back in. It's uh, always tricky when you've got to juggle lots of different things. So, yeah, but it's really nice to have you stop by and say hi. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't say I got into drag, drag race España after all. Oh, I'm building <laughs> tolerance for the jerks in my family. <laughs> I think that that's usually how families work. <laughs> <laughs> oh you're just building stuff okay <laughs> oh which is why you're not chatting as much no that's fine <laughs> sorry I got really confused then oh dear 
Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so easily bamboos. <laughs> you guys know that already, I think. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, and then Sloth saying, the Spanish is a little distracting, but the talent. Yay. Love it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Amy, Flamily and I are planning a trip to Florida to Disney World next year. Oh my gosh. Also, remember there's a Legoland. Yeah. I think is there a Universal Studios in Florida too? So you might be able to see the American um uh Diagon Alley or something as well. Although I shouldn't be uh <laughs> telling you guys how to spend your holidays. But yeah, I think um I think a Florida trip would also be really cool and loads of fun as well. And that would be where I would be uh, riding a gator. <laughs> Am just looping back to that earlier conversation. <laughs> right, gang. So this is where we're now up to with the build. We've been uh, chatting loads. So that was our little stable area that we've built so far. So we've just extended out that but on, the, on the side. So again, we've still got like that nice little shape here. Added in the two little stables and then just adding in a little bit of detail in the back there as well. And our horses' names are Rhapsody and Melody, which are very um, musical names. <laughs> Melodic. <laughs> so, yeah, it's coming along nicely. It's cool. Oh, my gosh, Josh, made a Disneyland Paris. It was so big. <laughs> I have my whole living room and it took me nine months to build, yeah. I know I recently had to um, take down my three table uh, Lego city. So I'm now just down to one <laughs> table, which is going to be really tricky to try and figure out how to how to build that um, so that it makes sense. But I have finally managed to um, pack away all my Harry Potter sets. So that's all packed away as well as all my Harry Potter figs, which was really difficult to do. I had them set up on um, plates for a little while. So I was just like, I don't want to put these away. They make me happy when I see Hermione and Luna and everyone. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all now sort of stacked away. So I've just started to lay out my amusement park area. So I'll probably try and like figure out that layout over the next little while and see how that sort of comes along. Um, and then I do have a few things that I need to rebuild. So there's a few rides that I want to try and rebuild, especially for the um, amusement park set that got in 2016 with the sort of space type theme. <laughs> So yeah, it was a croc it was a crocodile wrestler M. <laughs> we don't have alligators in Australia. It's a crocodile. <laughs> yeah. I didn't I didn't uh, I thought yeah, but I did convince him that I wrestle crocodiles. <laughs> Not really though, <laughs> for those that I knew. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh no. I read the first part of that message. <laughs> it was like getting ready to do a Sloth City update. Oh, yay. But I've been in a really bad mood. Oh, no. <laughs> that was my two noises for that one comment before I'd even read it out for the chat. Yeah. But I do like, um, you know, what you said. Uh, I don't know. When was that? A couple of weeks ago where you were just like, you just do your updates when you feel like it and when you're in the mood. And I think that that's a really good point. So... Yeah, I'm sure that I'm sure that you'll you'll find your mojo <laughs> as you seem to seem to be able to do. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, get yeah, get the free. <laughs> yeah, I was it. I I just sort of moved to London and I hadn't been there for very long. And we went out to a couple of bars, and I was talking to this bloke, and I don't know why it's. It's a strange thing to do, but I just was being a bit daft. <laughs> I was just saying, and he was like, oh, what did you do in Australia? And I was like, I was a crocodile wrestler. And he was just like, what? No, no, you couldn't be. And <laughs> again, I can't really tell you why, 
but I was just then like remembering every single like nature documentary that I'd ever watched and I like channeled my inner David Attenborough and I just started to come out with all these crocodile facts and I was just like you know it sounds kind of funny but I did work at a crocodile park and which I didn't and never did and you know sometimes if the crocodiles were a bit ill then we'd have to get in like the crocodile pen and and sort them out and <laughs> And, of course, at the end of the conversation, this guy was like, oh, yeah, yeah, wow, I never thought that that would be a real job. And then I just ended up feeling, like, really stupid and guilty about doing that. But I think that one of the funnier moments was that one back at, back at years ago when I used to actually get my hair cut and dyed by hairdressers <laughs> instead of just <laughs> trimming it and not dyeing it anymore, uh, trimming it at home by myself. But we are one day I was at the hairdresser and I was telling the hairdresser that particular story and the guy that was sat next to me at the hairdresser's getting his hair cut was just like, I don't think you said that you were like making up stories at a bar, but it was like, with the amount of crocodile facts that you were able to sprout out, I, I was believing you. <laughs> so, yeah, I did tell that. <laughs> Ruth Irwin, yeah, that's what I was, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> making up stories, but yeah, that one, that one happened. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Josh, that sounds awesome. I'm planning to make a Lego land, building it outside my garden backyard because I'm scared that I'll come to my living room again. Oh, I know, I know. I've been, I've been trying to get like a bit more Lego storage happening. So I sort of rearranged this room to make it a little bit more functional for Lego stuff and for live streaming because um, previously I used to live stream on my uh, dining room table and I had to have like, a, like a, the setup was really weird and I couldn't get it to really work all that well. And, the webcam would bounce around because my dining room table is a round dining room table, but it's only got the pole in the middle, so it can wobble a bit. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, this is just too much. So I managed to sort out most of this Lego room and go through and tidy up my sets and, and pack my way into storage tubs and those sorts of things. But I do have, like, a little shed area in my courtyard, but I do need to get some more storage shelves from Ikea. There's two lots in there at the moment but I think I can get a third lot in there as well so I then need to sort out my shed area <laughs> and get that happening a bit better and then I can rearrange my lego storage a bit better I also got tubs and some files to be able to do my lego instructions and store all of them in that um, but I need to get more of those <laughs> because I've managed to sort out all of my Lego instructions except for my Lego friends instructions, which, of course, is my biggest collection. So I'll have to um, try and get that done as well. But, yeah, it's just that whole balance of going, if I'm going to be spending money on Lego storage shelves and Lego storage tubs, do I want to do that or do I just want to get more Lego? <laughs> it's the dilemma, isn't it? <laughs> the dilemma that we all experience gators are better I think gators are probably a little bit easier than crocodiles because I think alligators are a little bit smaller but I think they might be a little bit more wriggly <laughs> planning a purest custom Disney CMF series video oh my gosh got most of the figures designed just need to buy the parts now <gasps> yes tech that sounds awesome absolutely awesome fantastic no, Josh, no, no way. I think, but in saying that, I must admit, for the first few years that I was building Lego, I didn't actually let anyone know because I kind of felt the same way. I was, I was in my 30s and I was just like, I can't let people know that I'm building Lego. And so for the longest time, like no one in my family knew. At that time I had, it was myself and two, my two dogs. So we, it's just three of us in the house together. And there would be some nights where I would sit there and I would build up my Lego set and then I'd just take it all apart and put it in a bag and hide it away so that nobody knew that I got it. And then at some stage I ended up with enough sets where I thought that it would be really nice to do like a little display shelf on my bookcases in the spare room and have like a few shops and a little bit of a road and I think I just went onto YouTube and was like how to build a Lego city or a Lego street and these videos came up and I started to watch YouTube videos 
Um, and then I kept on hearing people say AFOL, 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 and I was like, what is that? And then someone in a video at some point or another said adult fan of Lego, A-F-O-L, adult fan of Lego, AFOL. And I was like, that's me. <laughs> and I was just like, if there's a name for adults that build Lego, we can't be that weird. <laughs> so yes oh yes mama lego you've probably gone by now because i'm telling loads of stories enjoy your weekend though take care take care oh yes i want a happy update all the wings came in for the mech dragon so i need to sound less depressed <laughs> sound however <laughs> you like hype slother and hype yes slother and hype whoop whoop Oh, going to start the Stephanie Ballet Cube. I still haven't gotten any of the new um, cubes, Amy, because I've not been able to find them in any shops. So far, the only place that we can get any of the Friends Cube are uh, from the Lego store, where I think that they're $12 or $13 each instead of 8 or 10 like at Kmart or Big W, and then I'd also have to pay postage. But <laughs> when I ordered my everyone is awesome set and the uh, surfer beach front <laughs> i did get uh brick parts oh hang on which ones were they uh these ones <laughs> so i did get all the animals <laughs> in all colors <laughs> so at the moment i'm only missing uh a couple of colors of my rainbow animals which is really cool <laughs> So they're just next to my webcam over there as well, in front of Melissa, Maleficent's mini doll, <laughs> which is next to the sea witch, which is next to Izzy's castle. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so... Oh, gators, are, oh, gators are bigger. Well, saltwater crocodiles are pretty huge, though. Some of our saltwater crocodiles can be like 8 to 12 foot. But <laughs> since I'm not actually going to be wrestling a crocodile or an alligator ever in real life, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm not throwing down that challenge at all. Oh, my gosh, I turned three rooms in my house into Lego rooms. Yeah, I've got... I've got this one and then I've got the um, spare bedroom, which is where my Lego city is. But then I also do a lot of building and filming on my dining room table. And like I said, it's only been recently that I've been trying to tidy up some more of my Lego because <laughs> it used to be the only two rooms that didn't have Lego in them were my bedroom and the kitchen. And that was because they were, they're too small to fit anything else in them. <laughs> Oh, dear, Lego shame. I know, it's funny, isn't it? It is funny that I think, um, you know, so many people love Lego as a hobby, but then it gets sort of a bit awkward and embarrassed about it. And I do think that that's one of the nice things about Lego Masters is that that has been able to dispel the myth of you stop building Lego when you turn a certain age. I don't know, I don't know how that was supposed to work, but... Um, yeah, but I, I must admit, it did make me feel heaps better, Josh, when um, I realised that there was a whole heap of adults and teens and everyone that just enjoys Lego. So, yeah, hopefully hopefully that's helped helped you as well. Oh, cool, Sloth. Got a new business in Sloth City to showcase the toy store and comic book store. Just haven't done the vid. Cool. Yeah, yeah, Sloth's got a really um, cool city, Get the Brick. Um, it's one of my favourites because it's sort of like really unique um, and Sloth does some really fantastic mocks as well. Oh, my God, Josh, it's too over. No, I'm nearly too <laughs> No, you've got to get some sleep. Um, I use um, Canva. So you can go on to Canva and um, you can get uh, like a free version of Canva. Um, I think I got a, the premium upgrade, but not to start with. So for for ages, for quite a few years, I just used um, Canva to do my thumbnails and um, they have templates. So you just need to click on YouTube and thumbnail template and then you can just sort of drop in photos and images and all of those sorts of things and design it out. They do have templates and there is a template on there that I modified quite a bit to create my newer template. 
Um, but my first, like when you go back to my older builds, like my Maleficent build, um, that the sort of with the circle on one side of the thumbnail, that design I just sort of came up with myself. And so that's where I sort of went when I started to add in a few more of the clouds and the stars and the hearts and those sorts of things. I wanted to try and keep the circles on the side so it would still be kind of familiar. Um, but I think that at some stage I'll probably do like another update for the thumbnails too. So, yeah, yeah. But um, but I also think that you can do um, thumbnails and that type of stuff in PowerPoint as well. But I think Canva is a really good option, which is just a website. So have a Google, Josh, of Canva um, if you're interested. Oh, and PixArt. Oh, cool. Yep. Oh, cool. And Sloth is saying PixArt as well. No, Sloth. And I don't think Elle does either. I think that both of you just do your video and post them. I edit a lot. <laughs> Which gets to be quite ridiculous sometimes. In my most recent video, which was quite a long video to do, but that's because I ramble on and on and on about Lego, <laughs> to no one's surprise at all. <laughs> I um, I didn't realise, because I'd filmed that in sort of different chunks as well, and I didn't realise how much Pucky was barking, and I quite like doing like little pop-ups with the like little pug picture that pops up and does his little woofs. And I didn't realise how much Pucky had been barking during the filming process until I had to put in all the pug wolves. <laughs> it's just like, oh, my gosh, Pucky, you're driving me bonkers with how much you've been woofing. And Corno saying, yep, in my house, there's a lot of Lego. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And then I've also got, like, little Lego stashes. Corne's got a little, little Lego stash that I've got to post over to him one day when the postage becomes a bit cheaper. So he's got that. Oh, my gosh, I know. I know, Em. And I think that that's sort of like the nice thing when um, I started to do more YouTube things. I was just like going, oh, yeah, I found my Lego mates. <laughs> I've got Lego buddies. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> oh, Josh. Em saying, Josh, you need to go to sleep right now or we'll have to sit Pucky onto you. No, Pucky's already asleep. He's barked himself into a deep slumber. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, Josh made nine huge builds. Favorite one is the Moors, the Maleficent home thing. Yeah, the Moors is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Do you um yeah, we'll have to check out. Do you do videos or are you on Instagram? Where can we check out your um Lego builds, Josh? Let us know. Oh my gosh, yes, that's a brilliant idea, Amy. Yes, I'll have to remember that. <laughs> That's really cool because I've started to collect, like I said to you before, I've started to collect some little bits and pieces to use as treasure in there. Um, but I think that that would look really nice as like a backdrop because I, I still want to make sure that it looks like quite cave-like. So we'll see. We'll see how I go with that build. Oh, and Erin's back again. <laughs> hey, Erin, it's lovely to have you here again, mate. <laughs> So I hope that you're doing well. I don't know if um, Robbie is with you this week as well, but if he is, make sure that you say hello from me as well. hope that you're both going good and things are going really well and awesome. Oh, Twitter. Oh, okay. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> I do have a Twitter account, but I think I might have forgotten the password, so I don't know whether or not I can get back into my Twitter account. <laughs> but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it sounds like you're just as bad as what I am, Josh. <laughs> I edit. Ma'am, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I think that that's also like the nice thing about um, everyone's like Lego channels and those sorts of things is that uh, I, I really like seeing different styles of videos and I think it's really nice to see different how different per people like, you know, communicate their Lego builds and those sorts of things as well. Like I just sort of go, I absolutely love um, Sloth and Elle's videos because it's just, you know, there's the, there's the camera, there's the stuff and they talk through it. I am just so impressed with people that can do that. Um but, again, for me, I actually 
aside from having to put in all of Pucky's wolves, I actually quite like adding in quirky little things into my <laughs> videos as well. So yeah, I think um I think it's I think that that's just the nice thing about our community, isn't it? Where we just sort of go, yeah, just be yourself, do what you do, do it how you want. Like there's no right way to make a Lego video on YouTube or to you know, post photos on, on Instagram or whatever it happens to be, you know, and hopefully we can appreciate the, the differences in that as well. Like, again, um, you know, there's quite a few live streams that are, like, a bit more, like, hyped up and intense and, you know, uh, all of those sorts of things as well and, and heaps of fun and loads of guests and all of those sorts of things where <laughs> I'm just saying, I just need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> chill out and have a few nice like relaxing laughs and everything so hopefully that's cool oh cool amy and she's finished yay what are your thoughts on the on the cube cube amy always like hearing what you think of our different friends builds and everything Oh my gosh! So I think there might be more aliens than humans by now, which is a goal. <laughs> I think that we need. Um, I think that we need that goal in uh, in the real world as well, perhaps. <laughs> oh, Jake is here. Hey, Jake. Welcome on in. I hope that you're going well, buddy. Um, Brett had some sausage rolls earlier, so we'll have to make sure that we pass those around to you too, mate. <laughs> and, and M had some chocolate muffins too, so you can have some of those as well if you're a, a bit peckish. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then Josh is saying that uh, my elves dragons fell away and, oh, my gosh, and it broke. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Josh, you seem to have butterfingers at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh how's the horse finagling going oh my gosh and don't ask <laughs> i'm finagling to the to the best of my capabilities at the moment <laughs> just got back from greg's no my gosh, Jake! You'll have to be you'll have to be passing around um, all the pastry goodies now instead. I think I think that that's what that's saying. Yum, yum, yum! <laughs> Josh is asking, should I buy more base plates because I'm running out? Josh, the standard reply from me when any anyone asks whether or not they should buy a lego set build a lego set or whatever is yeah go for it <laughs> the worst best and worst person to have as a lego friend <laughs> because you will literally be sat there in the dark eating your dry bread and water so that you can buy more lego <laughs> Oh, my gosh, your mobile data. Oh, good, good. But don't use up all your data if you don't have much. Oh, yay. Oh, it's lovely. I like Stephanie's outfit. Yeah, I think that they're, um, yeah, they look, she looks really pretty. I um, I think that that's a really lovely looking set. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, my gosh, I've gone, gone Australia again, gang. <laughs> M's. <laughs> and then M's just as bad. Bye, Lego. <laughs> but yeah, I am. I don't know whether or not I'm like a used car salesman. Is that a is that an insult, Em? I feel like that's an insult. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just very enthusiastic and passionate about Lego. And I think as 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 many of you guys know and um and some of the new people will get to know is that I do really um absolutely love complete collections so I find it really satisfying when I've got a complete collection of a particular theme or or you know whatever which is really not financially wise when it comes to purchasing Lego <laughs> oh my gosh fixing the dragon yes do that trying to find the box you'll yeah you'll get it fixed again with Lego we can build and repair it so that's the thing that we've always got to remember with our lego sets is that while it 
well, it's dramatic and scary when, when we drop our sets and, and they break or whatever, we can actually put them back together again. Um, oh, and Taz is saying hello to Sloth and get the bricks. What themes did I enjoy as a child? I I grew up in a country town <laughs> southwest of Australia and um we weren't we weren't like super well off when I was a kid either like it wasn't awful or anything like that but again I it, Lego was definitely one of those items that was considered like a bit of a treat like a very special treat and a bit of a luxury at for me and my brother as kids but I do remember <laughs> probably when I was about maybe 8 give or take several years <laughs> I do remember that um, family friends of ours came down from Perth to visit mum and dad in uh, Albany where I grew up and um, mum myself and the the other lady you know, as part of the friends went out into town that particular day and we were at like our local department store which isn't a massive department store in a small town in um, Australia in the 80s <laughs> and I remember standing in the toy section of the department store and I was looking at the Lego and there was this little Lego box that was of a little car in a caravan and I'm pretty sure that it was like white and blue and that particular family friend ended up getting me that Lego set. And I um and then we ended up going out for lunch and we went to, to like the, <laughs> the old lady's lunch spot. <laughs> Even though mum and this woman were probably only in their twenties, or maybe mid-thirties, I don't know, twenties to thirties. And um we we sat there and I just built my little Lego car and caravan. That's like the first lego memory that i've got as as a theme but i think it probably would have been a lot of like the city stuff because that's that was probably what was around <laughs> when i was a kid um i do remember seeing some of the paradiso stuff as well and i thought that that was really really pretty too um but yeah um and then the reasons sort of, sort of why I got back into Lego as an adult was that my niece and my nephew came over from the UK. And so I ended up getting about three or four different Lego sets, which were actually creator sets and um, ended up building those. Um, and my nephew wasn't really into it. My sister, I think, sort of made a bit of a, an effort to build um, one of the sets um, to sort of join in and have fun with us. Um, but she wasn't really into it either. But my niece and myself just absolutely loved it. And I think that that's why when I was in the shops and I saw the friend set that I saw in 2013, I was just like, I'm going to get that because then I can reminisce about building Lego with my niece. And sure enough, a few years ago when my niece and my nephew came over to Australia again, <laughs> my niece <laughs> and I had a few days here <laughs> with each other where we just sat on my lounge building Lego sets and, and watching <laughs> watching various DVD box sets and everything, which was really cool. And then having uh, chocolate croissants and hot chocolates in the morning for breakfast. <laughs> That's okay, Em. That's okay. Oh, my gosh, Doc, no. All the hidden side sets and then the pandemic ruined that. I know. I think that the... The hidden side set that I had to look the hardest for was the castle, the haunted castle, which isn't called the haunted castle, but I can't remember what else it was called. <laughs> Finished fixing the dragon. Yay, Josh. Yay. That's cool. Oh, I like blue bunny. Yay. Oh, the bunnies are so cute. I actually really like the, the colours in for those animals as well. But we do have a lot of coral animals because we've got coral and yellow with the... Um, with the beach theme as well. So we've got all the coral, um, what do you call that? Uh, seal, dolphin, seahorse um, and that sort of stuff. And then we've ended up with like the coral um, poodles and dog and, and cat and everything. And then I think that we ended up with some coral animals for the jungle theme as well. I can't find my coral tiger. I know that I have a coral tiger, but I don't know where he's ended up with at the moment. That's where we're up to with our horseback riding center. <laughs> so we've just started to put a little bit of the second story on but uh, again very simple on the interior and all of those sorts of things as well oh there we go Brett also calls it a car hidden side castle as well that's why Josh and I are mates oh, Brett and I are mates 
Oh, and Sloth's planning to eventually have all the rock monsters. Yay, I know. It's. I think it's just nice to have those little things in Lego to sort of work towards. Oh, Castle of Mysteries. Oh, it is a castle, is it? <laughs> Um. yes no I think it is I think I kept on calling it a haunted house and that's when Courtney told me off last time was when I was calling it the hidden side haunted house I've managed to get castle in there so I'm half right I've still got streaming brain <laughs> oh my gosh yay and Josh is saying that he's planning to work on two builds one Legoland second Maleficent castle um, from Sleeping Beauty yay we also didn't uh, have as much as we have now when I was very little, but the stuff we have we were satisfied with. Yeah, exactly. And I think that that was sort of like also part of growing up as well. Like because we were sort of like we lived out of town, um, it just pretty much meant that Bill and I were just running around the neighbourhood the whole time and um, hanging out with the kids in the neighbourhood and we just had like it was it was very like a fun childhood you know <laughs> but I also think that because we were outside all the time running around riding BMX bikes and you know doing weird things climbing trees and all of those sorts of not weird things but climbing trees and being really creative with whatever we were doing it, it kind of meant that we didn't really need toys to play with because we because <laughs> that was also one of the catch cries I think of most Australian <laughs> parents in the 80s was go and play outside <laughs> Just be like, get the kids out of the house. <laughs> and then even now, some of my um, some of my friends that also grew up in, in that country town as well is that they just sort of describe their kids as very feral. <laughs> We've got the most feral kids in the neighbourhood. And it's just like, but are they really feral? They're not any better or worse than what we were when we were little. And, and I think dress-ups was also a big thing when we were growing up as well, which was funny. Paradisa is epic. Yes, I know. No, but I can't start. I can't start another Lego thing. I can't do it. I just can't do it. I've got my little wish list and then I've got the themes that I, I want to try and finish off. <laughs> that's, that's it. I've got to cut myself off at some point. And Big Baz Bricks is here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi, Big Baz. I think this might be the first time that you're um, you're coming into one of my streams as well. So welcome on in. It's nice to have you here. I am just on to bag number five of the um, horseback riding centre that we're building tonight. Um, but we're doing a lot of a lot of chatting, and we've got a few other uh, newer people in the chat as well. So we're just getting to have a nice catch up and. And know each other and then I also managed to build the little waterfall set as well a bit earlier there's other bits on the front here as well but I've I keep, I keep um, dropping everything tonight so I'm I'm not going to show you everything big Baz. <laughs> oh, I've got parts in for the brick factory I'm planning yay uh, I know. Oh my gosh, Josh! I know that's the dream. Um, yeah, Brett and I were also joking about the fact that it would be absolutely amazing to have like a massive shed or a massive warehouse where you could have like forty tables with a huge Lego city. And for me, that would be one of the things that I'd absolutely love to do was to sort of go through and be able to continuously add to the Lego city as more sets come out and just be able to landscape like the Friends and the Disney Princess sets all in together. And I think I would also probably put the DC Superhero Girls theme um, into my Lego city too. Um, yeah, <laughs> one day, one day maybe if I go... <laughs> If I go back out into the country, I might be able to get a shed, <laughs> a Lego shed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh, I know. I know you get the brick parody, so it is expensive now. Um, I think possibly one of the things that I would quite like to try would be to get the Paradisa colours and then use some of their builds for, as inspiration and then just sort of mock a... Paradisa set without actually having to use Paradisa parts. <laughs> I don't know how that would go. I do know that JC from Small Brick City um, did a few like Paradisa inspired builds as well. And I thought that that was like a really cool sort of idea. But I think that he went, he changed the color palette a little bit, I think, from memory, where he sort of 
went more um, with the modular sort of color palette. But I think for my Lego city with all the <laughs> princess and friends color theme, I'd prefer to do like a bit more of like the spring green and the pale pink and, and that type of thing as well. So, but again, we all have our fantastic ideas for our Lego cities and our Lego uh, mock builds. It's just finding the time and <laughs> the parts and <laughs> those sorts of things to be able to build them. And uh, probably at the beginning of the year, I also realised that I kept on starting new mocks and then I wasn't finishing any of my existing mocks. So I did make my, myself a promise at the beginning of the year that I couldn't start a new mock until I'd finished some of my existing ones. And they're getting there. So I did manage to finish off my um, Princess Jasmine tier tower. I have got most of my Snow White Cottage done. I'll probably wait to finish off my Beauty and the Beast castle until I get the new Beauty and the Beast set. And I also think that I might try and get some of those bay window pieces that we got with Andrea's house um, in order to do a bit more of a bay window in that mock. And then I've also got another um, castle that I've been working on as well, So, which is almost finished, but I just can't find the parts that I need for that on Bricklink. So I think I've got to wait until I get another set <laughs> from the official Lego store, which might be the Ice Palace. And then I'll try and order those parts through the official Lego store parts thing that they have, whatever that's called. I can never remember what it's called, the online. Is that Pick a Brick Online or is that called something else online? I can't remember. Bricks and Pieces, is that what it is? <laughs> Streaming brain. <laughs> Brett, no, you're not allowed to send me any Paradisa. Stop enabling me. <laughs> you're meant to be my friend. <laughs> you're not meant to be corrupting me into getting all the Paradisa stuff. <laughs> be supportive. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm never going to give you my address, Brett, because I know what will happen. I'll end up with a surprise parcel arriving <laughs> one day. <laughs> And I've still got to finish sorting out all my existing Lego before I do that. I th I think I think that we're probably onto the last wave of dots stuff. So I think that once I've gotten all the last couple of dots sets that I want to get, I don't think that I'm going to get everything in this wave. Then that will be one theme where I can cross out that. And then we're on to the second wave of video. So we might have another one or two waves of video and then that will also be finished as well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens then. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm getting behind on the chat again. I'm <laughs> talking too much. <laughs> Corne's now building Diagon Alley. Yay. Just thinking about I could have never thought as just now thinking about how I could never thought as a little kid of how much Lego I would have in 10 years' time. Yeah, I know. Diagon Alley is something great, like the Ice Castle. Yeah, Diagon Alley is just a beautiful, beautiful set. Yeah, and I think I think that that's the it's the I think that the feeling of the Disney Castle and Diagon Alley, and even like the Hogwarts micro scale castle, like the Ice Castle, the new Ice Castle, gives me that same feeling. Like it's just so beautiful, and it's just yeah, it's just yeah, Lego is just inspiring like that. Oh, and Sloth saying that um, they've got a. Paradisa base plate as well. Yeah, I think a few different people have got the Paradisa base plates. So I know you and Brett <laughs> also do. Um, and I think Claire from Plastic Architect also has some as well. Just two o'clock in the morning. No. Make sure that you get um, lots of sleep, mate. Don't stay up too late. You can always catch up in the replay. <laughs> Yes, Big Bass Bricks, Tasman Bricks in the chat. Is he that dude from Australia? Maybe. <laughs> oh, and Gollum is here as well. I just was watching your video before I started live streaming and your uh, rock formation with the face looks absolutely beautiful. It's so good. It looks amazing. I, um, I don't know what suggestions to offer as well because I'm pretty sure that the, the only suggestion that I would have are the other stuff that you already talked about on your video as well. So, which are just um, to to have to tile around the 
um, turntable and um, and I think that possibly with some of the other the only thing that I could think of was that with your rock formation is to maybe almost do a pillar a rock type pillar in the back corner of that plate behind the head so that potentially when you put the bonsai tree on top it's sort of mostly resting on the top of the head but then also potentially partly resting on that back pillar maybe and I think that what you could also potentially do would be to have turntables on top of the head and then potentially like a little turntable at the back because I'm pretty sure that I've fitted on um, different builds, I've fitted plates onto two turntables, two turntables <laughs> so that then you can have them on angle. Does that make sense? I don't know if that's making sense, but, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the chat. Loved your video. Love your build. Your city is looking awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, so many Lego builders are just like, give me a shed, give me a warehouse. Yes. I don't, I think that JC has been um, stuck <laughs> somewhere in Asia during the pandemic, away from his Lego city, away from Annie, of his fiance, um, and um, and I also, I was chatting, who was I chatting to? Was it GJ Bricks? And I think that someone was saying that he's also been doing a lot of production work for some of the TV channels and stuff like that over there. So I think he's been like super, <laughs> super busy. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Have heard of Taz. <laughs> oh, Josh, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, yeah. I, that's really that's really nice to hear. I don't know what I would ever do if I got to a million subscribers. I'd probably have a meltdown. <laughs> probably be in tears. <laughs> but to be perfectly honest, um, it's I think it's one of those things where I was having like a, earlier this year, I was having a real struggle with a lot of things in my life, and it made me feel a bit like down on my Lego channel because it's just sort of been plodding along, and there's been a few. Um, builders and stuff like that that have come into the Lego community quite new and have only had their channels for a few months and, and have already, you know, gotten thousands of subscribers or whatever. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, I've been doing this for almost three years and I'm just plodding along. But then it just comes back to hanging out with you guys in my chat and getting to know you all and being able to talk to, to everyone. And I'm just like, that's why I started making videos was to have Lego friends so it's really, you know, it's really nice to see your channel grow, but I'm definitely a plodder. I'm very much a plodder in life. Like I plod along and do my thing and, and you know, whatever, and it's not about getting there first or the fastest or whatever. <laughs> it's not really in my personality. Um, but, yeah, I just think that it's really nice because as my channel just sort of slowly grows, it means that I get to know more of more of you guys better, if that makes sense. And I feel like it then allows new people to sort of come in and hang out with us and, and we all get to be Lego buddies and, and everything. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Mama Bricks is here as well. Oh, my gosh, I've gotten way behind in the chat. Okay, I've got to skip through. <laughs> you were going to say you gave up on mocks. No. <laughs> no, I've just got to finish the ones that I've got. So, yeah, there's three at the moment. And then there's also, like, a little grouping of mocks that I've been working on that should be coming out as a video in, in the next maybe three or four weeks. So they're mostly done now as well. So it's it's really finishing off the last little details with Snow White's Cottage, which still needs a little bit more uh, tinkering, um, and then fi finishing off Izzy's Castle. And I think when both of those are done, I can then probably start on my next couple of mocks but I'll probably be doing more stuff with my amusement park city then I think hopefully hopefully doc yeah hopefully ice castle I know I've still got a scrounge <laughs> scrounge up to find out how I'm going to pay for it I don't know I don't know LEV toys but she was also one of the first channels that I came across that did do a lot of building with friend sets and I just think that she's just she just comes across as a really like friendly down-to-earth fun kind sort of person 
And I just think to myself, yeah, that's really lovely. And of course, because she's also an Australian, you know, I want I want to see LEV succeed and do really well and, and those sorts of things as well. But no, we've we've never sort of chatted or spoken or anything like that. Um but yeah, she was also you know, a channel that sort of inspired me to come onto YouTube because I was thinking to myself, I have always enjoyed like LEV videos and I still watch them now and I know Corne and a few of the others also watch LEV videos, but I sort of go, I do think that her style of creating videos skews much more towards a younger audience, which is awesome and fine and <laughs> fun. <laughs> I really like decompressing and watching LEV videos just to like cheer me up and make me feel good, which they do. But I sort of thought it would be really nice to be able to then see if I can find, you know, adult and teen friends that enjoy friend sets and see if we can sort of actually talk about, you know, the colours and design and mocking them and all of those sorts of things. So, yeah. Uh, yes, stock. I think that if I think that they'll probably be the next lot of sets that I'd want to get. I've just got to figure out how to do that. So they'll probably be like the next little cluster <laughs> because I absolutely enjoyed building the dots um, sets last week. I just thought they were really cool, and it's been one of those things where that's been a theme that's been very slow growing on me. <laughs> Corner's already stocked with dots. I don't need any more. I know. I've got so many one-by-one -one tiles. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think as well, Robin. I have a funny feeling that there might be one more wave. I think that they usually do three, and sometimes if it's an okay theme, then they stretch it to four, but I think that video might stop at three. <laughs> Send my Disneyland parrots to me. I'll take whatever Lego anyone's offering. <laughs> But in saying that, George, I don't have any room for my existing Lego collection. That's why I keep telling Brett off. He can't send me parodies or I've got nowhere to put it. Yeah. I've heard of Stud and the Dud and apparently they did a video for you, Doc. Yeah, yeah, big bears. Josh, if you have to wake up at six, you'd better get some sleep. Oh my gosh. Mum Bricks is here. You've probably been here for an hour and a half and I've only just seen you say hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no, hang on. I think I've jumped around here a bit. Oh, good night, Josh. Yes, yes, yes. Get some sleep. Get some sleep. It was lovely having you in the chat, mate. It was really nice. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly, Corne. I think that you know you know what I'm saying. Oh, thank you, Baz. That's so lovely to hear. That's really, really cool. Ah, my cat jumped again. Oh, my gosh. Where am I up to? <laughs> and Brett's doing trades with Doc. <laughs> Oh, uh, if I if I ever reach one million subs, I'll be like, oh, that's when I will definitely, <laughs> definitely be doing a world tour to give you all hugs, <laughs> uh, fully vaccinated hugs, obviously. <laughs> we'll secretly all travel to Australia. Oh my gosh! E honestly, I was, every time I do a live stream, even even now, I started and I'm like. Is anyone actually going to watch me? <laughs> I'm just going to sit here for three hours talking to myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Scholar. Yeah, yeah. But that's because all of you guys are so awesome, and and you know you just build lovely things, and I just think that you're wonderful. It's so cool. As Sloth saying, I only started making videos to show my friends. I was never planning to have a big channel. Yeah, that's the same as me. Like, honestly, I'm sort of like, even now I can't believe that there, I think I've got 600 and something subscribers, which is amazing. And I think for me, the biggest milestone that I've ever had is a 1,000. A 1,000 subscribers, I still can't get my head around it. Like, I was literally, like, so overwhelmed when I had 50 subscribers. I was like, I don't even think that I've got 50 friends. <laughs> in the real world and yet all you awesome lego people have just like changed. you guys have changed my life i always say that but you have joe's back she's just melted trying to take a photo <laughs> 
Yes, Robin, you've been doing all your dupe. Oh, now that you've finished Fabuland, yeah. I find I'm being heavily drawn towards vintage Duplo now that I've finished getting Fabuland. Well, apart from that one elusive set, I may need therapy. I know. What are you going to do, Robin? <laughs> Yes, I I absolutely love Taz. He's such a he's such a great guy. Yeah, yeah. And it was quite interesting because when I did um the video interview thing with Taz, we filmed it, but we only filmed I think an hour out of like a four or five hour long conversation that we had on a Sunday. We were just chatting away and then Taz would be like, okay, we'll start recording now and we'd go off on another tangent and then it would be like, okay, well, we'll start recording. <laughs> An actual video now, so yeah, and I got to join Taz this morning with um, Josh as well on their Stud and the Dutch show this morning, which is cool. So I think anyone that um, enjoys a, a conversation as much as me, <laughs> it's so cool. No, don't do it, Brad. Don't do it. Yeah, sloth. I like the video video mini things, but I don't have a video budget. I'll stick with my random citizens. I have a funny feeling that you'll probably start finding bits of video characters coming through Bricklink over the next few months anyway. <laughs> you'll probably end up with unique video characters getting a added into your alien <laughs> sloth existence. Oh, Emma and Benny. Oh, good night. Good day. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Like, yeah, <laughs> that's okay. I don't know whether I explained it very well. <laughs> yeah, but it's looking so good. I absolutely love the way that that looks and just the concept of being able to add the bonsai tree on top, especially next to the Ninjago city, would be absolutely amazing. <gasps> Jake, you got the Roadrunner. Yes. That's so exciting. Oh, my gosh, my chat keeps on. <laughs> Jumping. Yes, Baz, that's Brett. <laughs> Brett's known as the castle and train guy. <laughs> Some of us even call him Daddy Choo Choo. <laughs> Just me and me and Joe, I think. And get the Brecks still hunting for four, for for them, for some. <laughs> and Josh is back as well. No, Josh, get some sleep. Get some sleep. We won't be going. We'll only. We won't be going for too much. Like <laughs> Big Baz sounds a lot like Taz. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Baz is. I don't know. Baz is definitely a uh, an Australian nickname. I don't know whether or not other countries also have Bazes, but I know quite uh, quite a few Bazes in Australia. <laughs> Yes, I, I started to see Robin post some, some of the vintage Duplo sets as well. Okay, I don't know where I'm up to. <laughs> I'm completely discombobulated, gang. <laughs> right, okay, focus. I've got to focus. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was really fun. It was one of those things because um, Brett and Taz know each other and then obviously Brett and I know each other and Brett was just like, you guys need to talk. You're both Australians. How could you not come across each other? So, yeah, it was really nice. Um, but I think that's the other thing that I've sort of started to notice with, like, Lego friends, like people in the Lego community and stuff like that, is that if we um, if you sort of get along with with people then usually the people that they get along with you do too which I think is pretty much how it works in the same in the real world as well oh cool oh Jake that's a nice offer as well <laughs> no, no. <laughs> exactly <laughs> I've already said it once in this stream I'm the worst worst person to encourage uh, to talk to anyone about Lego because I'm just like just buy more Lego <laughs> oh dear oh 
And then um, Baz is saying Buzz, Baz is short for Barry, so quite odd, yeah. <laughs> Joey saying, Daddy, do do. And then get the brick. Oh, so he does get the brick, does have four left to go. Um, Speedy Gonzalez, Tweety Bird, Wiley, Coyote, and Porky Pig. <laughs> Baz is saying, I used to live in Australia and all my friends still call me Baz. Yes. Oh, Mama Bricks. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Bought Friends Surfer Beach House this week. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gorgeous set. <laughs> I, okay, so <laughs> you guys are making me making me run during my chat tonight. Is that the plan, Doc? Because <laughs> I live on the far side of the world a day ahead of everyone. <laughs> You're trying to catch up with me. <laughs> keep keep me on my toes. Keep me running. <laughs> and then I'll get the brick saying I pulled four petunias in my last go. No. <laughs> That's the wrong pick. <laughs> oh, there we go, Jake's Jake. There we go. I'll let you go sort out your trades so you can you can sort that out. Oh, and Jake, I don't know that you're um you're on your mobile, but maybe see if you can um. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, Jake. Maybe can you send the Discord link to me on Instagram, and then I'll put it in the chat. Because we do have a Discord as well. It's not a super active Discord, but a lot of us can then uh, have a bit more of a chat privately. And sometimes if, like, various photos might be leaked that you can't post elsewhere, sometimes they can end up on a private Discord. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and then quite often we can do... Um, different trades and stuff like that over there as well and talk about what, what sets are coming out. So we'll pop the um, Discord link in the chat for anyone that might want to join our Discord. Again, it's very similar to here, very chilled out. Um, it's sort of just just be a nice person in Discord, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, feel free to jump on and, and join the Discord if anyone wants to. Again, no pressure if you don't. Uh, but like I said, it's it's very very chilled. It's it's um not <laughs> not very super super busy or super active. <laughs> this big bass is going. Oh, I just got the whole Baz and Taz thing. Sloth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Josh, you're meant to be sleeping. <laughs> you're going to be exhausted tomorrow and we can't have that. You've got to get up in four hours. <laughs> but, uh, Josh, I was just talking about our Discord as well. So, again, um, I'll post the link in a second and feel free to... Um, join our Discord as well. Like I said, it's not like a super active Discord or anything like that, but, yeah, it's really it's really fun. Thanks, Jake. I'm so technically uh, challenged. Jake always has to help me out with uh, posting my Discord link. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, yeah I'm, <laughs> I don't know whether or not I really should be on social media at all. <laughs> But there's our Discord link, so feel free to jump in and, and join us over there as well if you ever want to sort of chat behind the scenes or talk about swapping figs or anything like that. That's probably, like, quite a safe space to do that stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I have I host my own Discord, Joe. <laughs> I'm the worst. I'm the worst at, at remembering that I've even got a Discord. <laughs> It's just like, oh, I should go in and check on my my mates and my people that might be chatting to me on Discord. <laughs> but I think most people know that it's it is a pretty chilled out and relaxed space. Um, so yeah, copy and paste. <laughs> yeah, I know that's all I need to try and do. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys crack me up. <laughs> At least you guys don't mind laughing with me and not at me. That's the nice thing. I hope. I hope, I hope. 
So, yeah, we're just getting there. So um, I'm about halfway through bag number five and then there's a few extra little bits for bag number six as well. So this is where we're sort of up to now. The, win <laughs> the windows were a struggle, I'm not going to lie. I think that I was reading the chat for too, too long. <laughs> so the windows are a bit of a bit of a, a struggle. But um, the shadows look really cute. I do like the dark sort of teal teal coloured shadows and they can sort of open up. And because of the, the way that the pins work is that you can open them all the way back. And then even those middle ones sort of can fold over, cross over the top of each other, which is kind of cool. That's quite a nice look. So, yeah. But no glass in the windows, just the shutters. So, yeah, that's where that's up to. And then just starting to work on the interior as well. So, um, yeah, one sticker at the moment. Um, and there's just, it looks like there's some bedspreads left and one one other little thing. Oh my gosh, Josh, yes. Oh, well, this morning when I was talking with Taz and Josh, I was saying to them that um, as I'm doing my like new amusement park area, I do want to motorize a few more of my roller coasters as well. So I do have my Uni Kitty roller coaster motorized. I would like to try and figure out how to motorize the magical carnival roller coaster as well but I think I've got to try and get more slope on it so that you can you only need the links up one part and then there's enough momentum to whip it around um so yeah I'll see if I can do that <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go but we'll see we'll give it a go um but yeah <laughs> Yeah, I know, Jay. I do try and pop in there every now and again. You, Elle, and Corne are on the server. I know, you, but you guys are a lot more technical than what I am. <laughs> I just keep forgetting. I can't do loads of social media. I'm an elderly lady. <laughs> oh, my gosh, slob, yes. <laughs> Downloaded the Discord <laughs> and made an account just to send someone a picture then deleted the app, yeah. I think the only reason why I'm still on Discord is because I get to chat to, to these guys every now and again. <laughs> and then I think I'm on Brick Emotions Discord, Sarah Star Bricks' Discord, and then one of the Animal Crossing people that I watch over on Twitch, I'm on her Discord as well, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so technically Sloth has a Discord account but doesn't ever look at it. No, because she deleted the app. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, welcome to my world, Corno. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I always do. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard building and streaming and chatting to everyone. <laughs> I know. I agree. I'm really, like, pleased with how they did the pine trees in here. And really, no, I completely agree, Gollum. Like, I think that the way that they... Um, organize those trees is really cool and it's really nice to see that like flower part getting used to build something else that's botanical floral <laughs> a tree do you know what I mean so yeah it's it's really cool um because I really liked the way that they use that particular part in the elves as as the lanterns so I thought that that was really pretty oh, that's up there you guys can't quite see it it's on one shelf too high I need to <laughs> change my desk around a bit. You know, <laughs> Joe's going, oh, no. Jake's going, oh, no. <laughs> and then Sloth comes in with the best attitude. Meh, <laughs> pieces left over, a piece is saved for another build. No worries. <laughs> my brother was so sad that there was no loop part, but he made one himself. Yeah, well, that's I think that with like with my uni kitty uh, roller coaster I had to get two sets and then I sort of combined them and because I hadn't ever um uh motorized anything before I was a bit nervous about doing that but uh Brixenville Stefan from Brixenville um did a tutorial on how he motorized the pirate roller coaster so I basically used the pirate roller coaster layout for my uni kitty roller coaster and then followed his tutorial about how to make my my uni kitty roller coaster motorized but of course it's bright and colorful and all things rainbow 
<laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Exactly. All the technology. <laughs> exactly. That's so right. And then it's sort of like, who sent the facts anymore? It's like, that took me months to learn. <laughs> Oh, good. Oh, good. Found a gap in the build. No panic. At the moment, I'm just using the microphone through my laptop, so it's not too bad. I did get a snowball microphone, but I need to get a uh, another adapter to be able to add that as well as my webcam. So, yeah. <laughs> Got off with a two-day isolation, so treated myself this morning and saw Space Jam. Yay! It was, oh, it was terrible. No! um oh but have took tickets booked to see black widow next week with a friend oh my gosh yes that's really cool um brick gamer who was in the chat a bit earlier i don't know whether or not she's still around or if she's having a bit of a rest when saw black widow last week but now she's ended up testing positive to COVID. <laughs> so she's like hopefully it wasn't the, going to the movies that that did that to her but yeah so she's got to have a nice rest and and stay healthy and try and get better Oh, does he? Oh, cool. A, a yeet. Yet, yeti? Yite. <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but yeah. Yeah, I think that there's a few different options, but um, I think that whenever I've asked you guys, they've, they've said that my sound isn't too bad, so I'm hoping that that will be okay. I do really like the way um, Sarah Star Bricks' mic sounds with her, though, so that's why I thought that, that would be a good one, one to grab. So, yeah, but, yeah, just <laughs> it's one of those things that you spend, like, 80 bucks on a microphone, and I did get it on sale. Normally it's 100 or 110 in Australia, so $80 was pretty good for it. Um, <laughs> so it's just like, yes, great, I got that. And then it's just sort of like, oh, by the way, you can't plug that into your laptop without spending $90 on, a, on an adapter. It's just like, man. <laughs> Oh, yeet. Is it yeet? I don't know how to say that, but okay. <laughs> Go with that. That's cool. That's cool, Josh. Oh, Jake saying, yeah, I saw her post on her Instagram. Hopefully she's okay. Yeah, I think that she is okay at the moment. So we've just got to make sure that we send her lots of corona-free hugs and kindness so that she can feel warm and cosy and feel better. So, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, so sad that she got sick. Yeah, I know. I know it is because she's such a sweetheart. Oh, cool. I know that they finished filming live action Little Mermaid. Um, when that movie comes out, we will definitely get some aerial sets like we got Jasmine sets when the live action came out too. Yes, 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 exactly, exactly. But we do have quite a few... Um, we do have quite a few um, Little Mermaid sets as well. I think that next to Cinderella, she's probably got um, the largest number of sets. I think Cinderella Little Mermaid are the two most common, popular, maybe, from my opinion. I haven't double-checked that. <laughs> I haven't done the calculations. That's just off the top of my head while streaming <laughs> at almost 11 p.m. on a Saturday. <laughs> so I could be completely wrong. <laughs> Big Bass is saying, I have so much to learn with all this Discord talk and Yeti mics and snowballs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Trust me, though, I don't really know anything about anything. <laughs> oh, yeah, Frozen. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Yep, I forgot about Frozen. I kind of think of that as separate because that's sort of listed separately in the whole Australian Disney universe. Yeah, it will be interesting to see if they do a... Um, do we know who's cast as Ariel yet? Because surely they'll have to match her skin tone, which will be interesting considering <laughs> that all the previous um, skin tones have been very much based on the cartoon, haven't they? That would be exciting, though. Oh, yeah, and some more Ariel mermaid hair, yeah. I um, Yeah, I think I ended up finding the cmf hair on bricklink so i do have um the two different versions i've got the minifigure version of hair and then i've also got the the mini doll version of hair as well 
So, yeah, it's really cool. And then I was quite inspired by Brick Emotion to do, like, all the sisters as well. So I do actually have all my mermaids as as mini doll repaints, which I've actually got over here at the moment. <laughs> I've got to stretch. Oh, my gosh, no, don't knock my Flintstones off. So there's all my mermaid repaints. So that was the mini figure here, which I've actually made for um, Ariel's mum. But, yeah, very inspired by Brick Emotion. I think that Claire's just so talented and creative at, at repainting her mini dolls. <laughs> Oh, and Yadria is here as well. Yadria. Hi, welcome on in. It's lovely to have you here as well. <laughs> it's always nice to see you in the chat. Right, where am I up to? Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> I keep I keep losing my place. <laughs> what I'm supposed to be building. Yeah, it's well, it's been a while since we've got like the underwater castle, which is such a beautiful set. I think it was so difficult, though, um, taking down my beach <laughs> and my underwater mermaid village as well. That was actually really difficult to take apart. So, but I've still got all of those boxes, oh, bags and of, of Lego in my other Lego room. <laughs> so I've got to go through and sort those out at some stage as well. But, yeah. That was probably not much fun. Um, oh, I've, I have gone completely astray. Oh, Halle, Halle Bailey playing Ariel. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. I think I did. I did see that. <laughs> I think <laughs> so. I'm oh, so shambolic. I've hit the shambolic time of my streams, guys. <laughs> Just have to bear with me. Bear with me through all my sh shambles. Oh, cool. I think if they do the live action Ariel, she will get a new hair piece since in the live action she has very curly hair. Okay, cool. So we might be able to get uh, an updated skin tone and curly hair. It's almost three, Josh. You're supposed to be sleeping. We'll still be here next week. <laughs> we can chat in uh, elsewhere. I hope with the big ice castle we get a huge Atlanta car. I know. It'll be interesting to see how um how um how the ice castle goes with with sales. <laughs> and I'm hoping that we will we, we'll sell enough to convince Lego that we need more large mini doll builds. We need more Lego. Oh, my gosh, yes. Melissa McCarthy is playing Ursula. Oh, my gosh, that's going to be fantastic casting. I love that, love that. How awesome. Right, where am I up to? Am I done? Am I done with this bit? I don't know. It seems to be. Okay, no, hang on. Hang on, gang. I'm almost done. <laughs> I seem to have random missing Parts. No, that looks like that that's done now. Cool, cool. Right. So there we have the second story. So that's the outside. We've done a little, very, very skinny little roof section there. So again, making sure that it's all in the dollhouse style. And then we do have some rooms in here. So a little kitchen on this side, which is kind of cute. And then a like a little bench and dining table, coffee table, little little area there gotta go jay oh see you later jake take care <laughs> cool cast yeah i oh, know it sounds awesome it sounds really awesome which is fantastic <laughs> sloth saying i just figured out that ozzy osbourne's first name is probably not actually ozzy maybe not <laughs> No, it's it's actually quite funny when it, um, when people realise that there's sort of like this real unique um, nicknaming sort of culture in Australia. <laughs> so some of it's a little bit random, but then some of it very consistent. So yeah. So we're on to the sixth and final bag now, which I am assuming is probably going to be 
like a little bedroom because that's the stickers that I've got left at the bedspreads. So we'll see. Imagine getting a very accurate uh, Rapunzel tower would be so good. Probably would have Gothel, yes, and a soldier, yes, with Flynn, Rapunzel, Pascal and Maximus and maybe even the two criminals in the floating lanterns, yes. I know, oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, Josh. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. We'll see what mocks I, I get inspired to build next once I get my other few mocks sort of a little, a little bit more completed. And then, obviously, also I've got to post post the videos to go along with them. <laughs> so we'll see what, what I can come up with. <laughs> but, yeah, I think um, I've been really enjoying building, doing stuff with the Bell Castle and even like the other castle mock that I've been doing, which is more like a seaside castle. That's been loads of fun as well. So, um, yeah, I think that, that we'll, we'll see how that goes and, and how, yeah, what happens with mocks next. There's a, um, I usually have quite a long list of things that I'd like to build, but obviously now that I've had to change some of my city layout around, it then means that I'm probably going to be mocking different things because some of the stuff that I had been mocking was sort of to fit into that city. Um, so that might change as well. I do have another idea for a shop that I'd quite like to do. <laughs> But uh, since I've moved a lot of my mocks, I've ended up putting them on the shelf where a lot of my Avengers sets had been previously. <laughs> I've realised that whenever I build a mock, I seem to do a corner build, but it's all the same corner in the same direction. So I'm sort of like going, I might need to sit down and think about whether or not I can mirror build any of those so, so that then I've actually got two different corners. <laughs> or... <laughs> Or just um, no corner at all. I don't know. I don't know. But I was just like, yeah, very consistent with how I build my mocks. <laughs> I know, Corne, I know. <laughs> we're, we're still waiting for Pocahontas. I, I honestly, I just don't think that Lego is going to go there, though. <laughs> So um, I think that we're probably going to have to do a brick of motion and, and make our own. <laughs> oh, I didn't click on that properly. I was answering that that comment. Gosh, no. <laughs> Meant to be sleeping. <laughs> I'm really not worth it. <laughs> All I do is ramble on about nonsense. And and the video will be posted tomorrow as well. So you can just watch it later. <laughs> you can watch it as part of the lovely replay crew who I didn't even really knew existed until Helen and Bailey popped in last week and said that they'd been watching, which was so nice. Yeah, and but I think that that's you know like like we sort of quite often talk about sloth. I think that that's the thing with Lego is that there's enough like difference in the themes and in the sets and all of those sorts of things to be have different people inspired by different parts of it. And I think it's also been one of those things where you just sort of go, it's 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 cool to to see other themes and and different and different mocks and all of those sorts of things because otherwise it's then just seeing the same things over and over and over again. So I think it's nice to be able to have that creativity in the community and be able to, like, do <laughs> do things like that. Oh, my gosh, Mama's Bricks, yes. It was actually quite funny because um, this morning on Taz's stream, that's one thing that did actually come up. Um, I was sort of chatting around the sets that I like and and got asked whether or not I think that there would ever be a mini doll CMF series. And I did say that I think it would depend on how well the ice castle goes. But I, I know that like with Brick Emotions videos where she does mini doll repaints and um, with LEV's videos where she does dollifying the CMF series, um, they're really popular videos and, and you know, they've They've both got really popular channels. Was I not supposed to do this yet? Have I gone? I've gone one brick too high already. Oh, I'm still going rogue, gang. <laughs> still doing my own thing. <laughs> I need to follow the instructions. 
just for this little bit and then I can change things <laughs> next, later. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right. Oh, I haven't put my shutters on yet either. Oopsies, let's do that. Oh, and Josh is finishing. Oh, my gosh, yes. The Disney castle is beautiful, but you should be sleeping. You should be sleeping. And Gollum's saying that would definitely be a cute series. Yeah, I think so as well. And I think it would be interesting if they did, like, it. maybe a Disney princess CMF series. <laughs> Although if they did that, I'm sure that tech would just be screaming into the void. <laughs> and then... Um, because I, I, it was actually quite funny. Speaking of the the second lot of Aladdin sets that we got, because I, I get, once again I was inspired by Claire from Brick Emotion to uh, customize my own Aladdin mini doll, and <laughs> it's actually quite funny. So I ended up getting oh parts for my Aladdin mini doll including of course the Aladdin hair piece that we got with the CMF character I used Johnny Baker's pants from the elves theme and then I sort of customized and painted a little waistcoat on him a purple waistcoat so that was my version and then I've got to do another big stretch over here to try and get the <laughs> and then it was literally within weeks of me posting that video <laughs> That we then had <laughs> the images released where Lego did their official Aladdin character as well. Once again, using Johnny Baker's pants, but he got copper trousers, a purple waistcoat, but with a little cummerbund and <laughs> and some gold twirly bits on his waistcoat as well, and then a slightly different skin tone and a slightly different face. But I was just like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, it took me ages to paint that waistcoat and to find all those parts. <laughs> yeah. And then Sloss saying this, the current Disney Dragon movie sets have good colours in them. Oh, the Raya sets? Raya sets? Yeah, I agree, Sloth. I really like them as well. Raya. Okay, yes. <laughs> Tech would be screaming into the void. <laughs> It'd just be your luck. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Josh. But, again, I just sort of go, you can like us both. Do you know what I mean? Like I, there's so many channels and, and people that I love in the Lego community for different reasons. So, yeah. Bye, Baz. You've probably already gone, but enjoy getting ready for work. And, yeah, thanks so much for popping in and saying hello. <laughs> uh, I think it was Liska because she's so pretty. So my favourite animal would be Liska, the beautiful green, lime green fox. I just think that she looks so gorgeous. Absolutely so stunning. <laughs> Love her colours. I think that probably the only thing that's a little bit of a shame is back here. So there probably needs to be a little bit of detail added into that. But I think I can probably mock something up for her. But I just think that she's so gorgeous. I also love turtles. So I did end up with two turtle sets as well from that um, wave. And I have a funny feeling that I might have even ended up with two lions as well. <laughs> so I did get a few double up of um, elves sets. <laughs> Probably to no one's surprise because <laughs> I knew that that was going to be the last elves wave and I was just like, oh, my gosh, I need. Oh, yeah, the earth fox. Yes, yes, thanks. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> my streaming brain still in streaming brain mode. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I knew that I was going to be going into uh, elves withdrawal once I found out that the theme wasn't getting renewed <laughs> so I think I ended up getting a lot of double ups with the final wave of elves <laughs> yeah I know I know that's that's the whole thing that's what I keep thinking as well I'm just like oh no uh no elves finished quite a few years ago so we only got four waves of of elves which which is a lot of what you see here this shelf at the moment this shelf will end up being elves this will be the goblin king and the and the goblin village but at the moment I've just got extras there <laughs> stored there <laughs> 
to be completed <laughs> while my elf shelf is on a spare shelf on my dining room table and then once I finish streaming I'll put it back on here as I pack up everything there everything gets moved around <laughs> yeah yeah the the back castle was cool that's just up here <laughs> on top so I've got the Skyra on top of the because I've got three bookcases here so on the top of this one I've got Skyra and her castle with the um, love and light creatures, so the dragon and the wolf. And then here I've got Raya's dark palace um, all the way along here. And then on top of this book castle, I've got all the bats and Noctura up there as well. Yeah, the airships are really super cool. So yeah, that's, I've just, I think I've got one or two just up here. Yeah, yeah, they're a really nice design, but again, Sloth, you're probably like creative, creative enough to possibly maybe have a look at the instructions and see if you, you can just get some parts for it. Because I can imagine instead of having like just the white and lavender balloon parts, I could imagine you doing something like having it a bit more, you know, because you can get magenta and red and black of those sort of curved balloon balloon parts. Hopefully you know what I mean. But again, you build how you want to build. <laughs> I always like seeing what you come up with. Oh, yeah, yeah, Noctura's Castle. Yeah, yeah, it's such a lovely one. Yeah, a lot of the bat stuff was really cool as well. And I even liked the carriage, the Noctura's carriage that we got as well because that sort of was kind of a little bit like steampunk looking, which I thought was was really cool. Um, and then I thought that all the little bats were really super cute and quirky. I also liked the goblins as well. Corne, look away. I'm stuffing up my stickering. <laughs> I've got three, three stickers left to apply and I'm going to shank them. Can do it. I've just got to focus for just a moment. Be one with the sticker. Okay. Yay. Got it. Got it, got it. Yeah, oh, okay. The, the, the Goblin King Castle is not really your style. Yeah. Yeah, I have modified it a little bit. So I have, um, I did try and raise it up a little bit because it sort of felt like it was like falling into the ground a bit too much. Oh, no, that's okay. Get the brick. Very entertaining. Thank you so much. I'm glad that I got to see you in a couple of streams today, mate. So, yeah, hopefully we might be able to catch up again in the stream at some stage or another. <laughs> but enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Favourite was the Elven Star Tree Bat Attack. It's so gorgeous. Yes, that one's down here in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, a beautiful, beautiful set. Um, And then Noctura's Dress. Yeah, I think that that was probably one of the really, like, um, one of the designs that had a lot of thought go into it with as far as the mini dolls were concerned. Like I thought they really took Noctura's outfit up another level. And I think that that might have even been like part of the jumping off point to then start to get a bit more creative and, and um, do some more interesting things with the mini dolls. So, yeah, I just really liked the... The design of elves and I just really enjoyed their builds as well I just thought it was so absolutely fantastic ah. <laughs> the ice castle stickers are horrible so much lining up to do and I hate to do that the stickers are all pretty though oh, I know I know but it's all wet yeah stickers are hard <laughs> Josh, don't be up until three o'clock in the morning. No, but oh, just to let you know that once I finish up this bag, we will be finishing up because I've been streaming for almost three hours. <laughs> so we'll wrap up after this build. We'll save the the forest cabin thing for another another day, another time. Only because I was on Taz's build this morning as well, and I can feel that my voice is growing. I'm sure that you guys can probably hear that a bit as well. Yeah, I thought that the storyline um, for Noctura overall was just sort of quite, quite sad. Um, yeah, but um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I I think it was sort of quite interesting though because I ended up um, 
collecting the sets before I actually watched the series. So I think that I've got sort of like a slightly different view of some of the characters and those sorts of things as well. <laughs> because visually, my favourite character is Era. I love the purple and the white and her outfits and her hair. I've always wanted purple hair, lavender hair. So I think that that was probably part of the appeal. Um, but then she's like quite uh, scatty and, and high pitched in the TV series. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know, <laughs> you're a bit much, you're a lot. <laughs> so I think that Nida is actually my favourite character on the series. But I do know quite a few people like Azari. So again, I just sort of go, I think it just kind of depends. But yeah. And, um, and especially for me, because I think I've always sort of been a bit more drawn to purple. So I think that like the, the purples and the greens are sort of like some of my favourite. <laughs> That's true. I didn't realise that it was four in the morning, though, Corner. <laughs> it's just like, well, what were you doing talking to me at four o'clock in the morning? <laughs> But I must admit, like, I think, I don't know, I think that a lot of people have ended up with slightly, like, weird sleep patterns since since lockdowns and all of those sorts of things. I don't know whether or not other people have found that. Um, but there's definitely been times where I've just, had like, been in my jammies in bed and have YouTube on and I'll just end up, like, listening to a London Bridge Brick stream or listening to tech or, or whoever happens to be on. But... <laughs> I don't even know that I'm there. I'm just lurking in the background, listening to them chat while I'm dozing in bed. Yeah, the wind dragon was also gorgeous as well. Yeah, yeah. Although I think I, I, I really seeing like the uh, like electricity lightning pieces uh, for the wind dragon was really lovely. Um, and I had never seen those pieces before, and I thought they looked absolutely fantastic for the dragon. Um, but I think I, I like Gust, like the original Wind Dragon. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Blairs, I always love the characters with all the bad luck, like Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. I know, poor Rabbit. <laughs> He's my absolute favourite character ever, I know. And he's so cute as a little Lego fig as well. So, so adorable. And then, um, yeah, it's actually been quite funny lately because <laughs> I haven't, I had never noticed it before, but I think since building the Winnie the Pooh set, obviously Winnie the Pooh has been a bit more in the forefront of my mind. And, um, Every now and again, if I'm standing behind Pucky and he goes through his dog door, I just can't help but think of when Winnie the Pooh got stuck in the hole <laughs> with his front half in and his back half out because little Pucky's back legs have to skip, we, skip him through the little dog dog door. It's, it's so funny. And I'm just like, one day he's going to end up like Winnie the Pooh in his pug jamas getting stuck in his little <laughs> dog door. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. <laughs> Every now and again, I'm sort of like, yeah, I'm just creeping in the background. <laughs> so, but yeah, I figured I figured that people don't mind. I don't mind when people come into my channel and lurk. They don't always have to chat, <laughs> so it's okay. <laughs> oh, you have tons, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Elves is just I. Honestly, I could I could talk about elves for forever. <laughs> Always get super excited when I meet a fellow elves fan. <laughs> oh, Doc's got to go. Take care, Doc. It was lovely having you here again, buddy. So, yeah, look after yourself and I'm sure that we'll um, see you over on Instagram or back in a chat at some stage or another. But, yeah, look after yourself, mate. Cool. And then Corne saying, I hope Lego makes a rabbit house with a carrot garden so Tigger can destroy it every single episode or Pooh can blow it up completely. <laughs> oh, yay, yay. Just listening and sorting my pick a bit brick cups. Lucky you. Lucky you. <laughs> One day I'll get a pick a brick cup. <laughs> 
when I do my yeah, global tour of, of my lovely Lego mites. <laughs> oh, Mama Bricks, I don't think that you were in the chat. Um, uh, yeah, we were talking about eventually how Mama Lego is going over to the UK soon. And I was talking to Thomas about next time I go over to the UK and visit my sister who happens to live just outside of London. I'd love to catch up with Thomas and Greg and a few other people and Robin Hull and, and, and the gang from the UK and potentially even when I go to visit some of my friends who live elsewhere across the UK, then catch up with like some of the northerners as well, like Joe and Amy and stuff. Um, which would be amazing and then Corne was just like you have to come to the Netherlands and me and Mama Bricks can hang out and take you to the Amsterdam Lego store so you've already been dobbed in <laughs> to hang out with me and Corne <laughs> so we'll get to fill a cup one day together hopefully <laughs> yeah I haven't no I haven't gotten the new ice castle yet no I I had hoped that I might be a might have been able to get that um, and then be able to build that for this year's 72-hour uh, live stream, which is the first week of April. Um, but I don't have enough money for it <laughs> at the moment, so I'm going to have to keep saving for that one and see when I can get hold of it. So, yeah, but it's definitely a set that I will be getting. I just don't know when at the moment. Yes, yes, I know, I know. I think it was interesting because I think a few people were disappointed in the fact that we didn't get um, Al, which I, which is a reasonable disappointment to have. <laughs> but I think that then there was a bit more of a discussion about they weren't sure how the Lego designers would have made an Al to fit in with the characters that we got because obviously we've got an Al's through the Harry Potter sets and also through some of the elf sets as well, but they're very different owls compared to a minifig type owl. And I think that the same point was sort of made for Kanga as well, is that they weren't people weren't too sure how they would then put together a kang kangaroo minifig. <laughs> I think we would probably um, we'd probably be able to customise a, a Christopher Robin though. So, yeah, Jake's back. Yay, yes. I know. And I was say, even saying to Corne, when I lived in the UK, I never actually got to go to Holland and that's definitely a place that I would absolutely love to visit. I think that it's absolutely beautiful. I um, Whenever I see, like, vlogs or videos of people in Holland and Amsterdam and all of that type of stuff, I'm just, like, going, yes, that is um i love love the architecture and the, and the look of all of those sorts of things so yes one day fingers crossed one day we could <laughs> hopefully <laughs> yes we have to keep keep the dreams alive <laughs> through all these crazy times <laughs> No, no, that's okay, Taz. Don't worry about that. Uh, we were just talking about the fact that every now and again I'm lurking in different people's streams as well, so it's fine. No, no, Josh, don't don't worry about that. You don't need to donate. I'd much prefer for people to spend their money on their own Lego, <laughs> buy their own Lego and then show me what they've bought and then I'll get all excited about the fact that they've got fantastic Lego themselves. <laughs> No, I don't need donations. It's fine. Um, yeah, it's just pacing myself and 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 working things out. How am I doing this? Have I done this wrong? I I thought that that looked right. <laughs> Corne, I've gone astray with the final <laughs> part of my build again. What have I done? Oh no, <laughs> that was fine. It's okay. I've done it right. Yeah, I have the whole Harry Potter set, and I guess. Oh, my gosh, my brother stole all the windows from the Great Hole. Oh, Greg, <laughs> hi, buddy, how are you going? We were just talking about you. I hope that you're doing well, my friend. Um, Thomas is in the chat as well, and I was just saying earlier how much I loved seeing you and Thomas going around to all the um, Lego stores. And hopefully if I ever get to London uh, to visit my sister, I'm definitely going to force you guys into taking me on a Lego store tour across London as well. <laughs> oh, they have the win wings for the minifigure torso, very easy to recolor for the owl. Oh, okay, Corne. Oh, cool. Oh, and Gollum's going, take care, mate. It's always lovely to see you in the chat and keep 
keep keep going with your builds. I love seeing what you come up with. You're super creative and awesome. <laughs> My kids have found me again. I have to stop hiding. <laughs> oh, there we go. Thomas is saying Christopher Robin may or may not be in my Disney CMF series. So I'll have to keep an eye out for that photo as well. Oh my gosh, yeah. Katrina Peak's torso and Shaggy's hair are perfect for a custom uh, Christopher Robin. Hey, everyone's saying hello to Greg, which is lovely. Oh, <laughs> they're doing it great in making minifigure dress up animal suits. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That sounds amazing. It, it, yeah, just sounds amazing. And then obviously Sarah Star Bricks and, and Mike are there as well. So it would be fantastic to see everyone and again, give you all vaccinated hugs. <laughs> Thomas Rex is saying, yes, we can keep her busy for at least a week. No, 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 that's fine. That's fine. I um yeah, even as a growing up, when I haven't have a bad dream, I need Pucky to help me settle. So it's fine. <laughs> yes, Josh, I know we're almost finished as well. We'll definitely be um um wrapping up soonish. I just had to figure out how to <laughs> finish off the last few bits. <laughs> if, if iffy it's iffy oh my gosh yeah I know it would be so much fun I even said to Thomas it was it was probably one of my favorite Lego vlogs because it kind of felt like I was there with you guys like it was the three of us hanging out I'm sure other people felt the same as well yes yeah, sloth that's fine that's fine <laughs> Yeah, I know. Growing up stuff is always a struggle. I, we'd all much prefer to, prefer to do that as well. Yes, I know. I know. It would be amazing. It would be amazing. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yay. Right. Okay. Now, I've finished off this bit. <laughs> I don't know whether or not I've actually finished it because I keep not looking at the instructions and I'm spending far too much time talking to you all. <laughs> Just not a bad thing. I do really like our little weather vane, though. So we do have like a little golden chicken on a little cute weather vane, which looks so cute. And then that actually spins around as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. Love that. And then the interior for this, we have already seen the second story. And as predicted, the attic is just like a little bedroom thing. So again, very, very cute. So I'll add that on here. Hang on, I've just got to shut window, shut shutters. <laughs> so I'll pop that on there. But I've still got a few parts left. So I think I've got to add in some, some other bits and pieces here somehow or another. <laughs> yeah, it would be amazing. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad that you're enjoying my stream. That's really nice to hear. And you're finished with your Disney castle. Josh, you've got to get some sleep. You'll only get three hours sleep tonight. And your brother is finally sleeping. <laughs> so does that mean that you could go and steal your Hogwarts windows back? <laughs> no, I'm not encouraging that at all. <laughs> oh, and I think I have missed one sticker. Okay, I'll do that in the morning. Oh, my gosh, yeah. I've heard um, Sarah and Mike talk about good food in, in Holland as well. So definitely, definitely. It would be amazing. And then hopefully, Corne when you finish your studies you'll be able to have um a little bit of a gap year or something for another and come out and and hang out with me in Perth <laughs> and we'll get to go to Rottnest Island and hang out with the quokkas and and do fun stuff right okay what do I need to do brushes we need horse brushes in the stables <laughs> and oh um Greg when are, are you up uh, you might be in, still in the chat or you might not I know that quite often you have to pop in and pop out quite quickly but let me know if you're streaming and when your stream is happening as well but I think that quite often you stream a few hours after me I know at one stage it was quite nice because Sarah Star Bricks was streaming in between the two of us and so that was always sort of like quite good fun because I usually would um <laughs> decompress from my live stream and watch Sarah Star Bricks's stream um, and then depending on how good my sleep was at the time, <laughs> sometimes I'd even make it into, into your streams as well. But I was saying earlier, quite often I'd do a lurk, <laughs> just be lurking in the background. <laughs> 
And then, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I think that then that way he can have your windows, surely. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> bring your own breakfast. I was going to say, hang on a second, we do really nice breakfasts. <laughs> I think that I bamboozled you with the with the variety of options that we have in Australia. Oh, it's way too warm to be streaming. What what is it? Twenty two degrees. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> let's let's see. It's quarter past eleven on a Saturday night here in Perth, and our current temperature is thirteen degrees. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i did see that you were at seaside yesterday on um instagram i saw some of those pics which looked really nice <laughs> okay right oh i need a carrot the carrots okay i'll just have to put the carrot to one side because the carrot's going to fall off this thing when i hold it up to show you guys where i'm up to and another tree excellent is it only okay right <laughs> yeah it's winter here as well josh but i just like to tease the uh the brits about their weather <laughs> it's 29 degrees <laughs> it's hot for us yeah i'm not going to tease joe <laughs> or tease the boys <laughs> yeah <laughs> I've got to stop talking about the weather because I'm just going to end up getting cheeky and, and then none of the English people will like me anymore. <laughs> I'll get into trouble. Okay, I think I think that that one might be done. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'll never tease you, Joe. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is this is our lovely forest riding horseback riding centre. <laughs> so I have to keep having cold showers. Oh no, I think I do remember when I first moved up to Perth, and it's not a competition because I completely understand that. I think that as people, we do become acclimatised to wherever we live. So I remember the first winter that I was in the UK in London, I was frozen. I had to wear like long johns and jeans and boots and socks and, and singlets and T-shirts and jumpers and jackets and scarves and mittens and hats and the whole caboodle and I was still cold and I was just muttering away to myself. And then, of course, I think by the third or fourth winter that I was there, I was just like, okay, this is fine. I don't mind it. And I remember coming back to Australia and experiencing our Australian winters and it would be like, I'm just in jeans and a T-shirt. And all my Aussie, like all my Aussie friends and family would be like, aren't you cold? You need to put a jacket on. And I'm like, what do you mean? It's 19 degrees. Why do I need a jacket? It's not that cold. So I do think that as people we do become acclimatised. And when I first moved up to Perth, the house that I was living in in Perth didn't have any air conditioning. And Perth summers can get up to like 35, 40 degrees, 42 degrees. And that, it was the same. I would just be absolutely melting, absolutely melting, melting. <laughs> oh, and Darren's saying it's 20 past one in Ballarat and seven degrees with rain. Yeah. Yeah, but you're a little bit further south than than, than us in Perth. <laughs> Josh is studying on planning the Male Maleficent Castle. You're meant to be going to sleep, Josh. Yes, oh, my gosh, yes, Greg. How's the Lego cabin coming along? Hopefully we're going to see another video of that. It was really exciting seeing how that was coming along too. <laughs> 19 degrees, it's perfect shorts and T-shirt weather. Yeah, I know. <laughs> And here in Australia, like I'm I'm like rugged up. I've got my thick woolly jumper on, I've got two layers under there, so I'm in tracky pants, socks and woolly slippers. And I'm just like going, it's 13 degrees and I'm cold. <laughs> oh dear. Oh fantastic. Oh cool. That'll be exciting to see that, Greg. It's been really exciting to see how um how your cabin's coming along. So yeah. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> oh, 
Robin's being cheeky. So there is our uh, forest horseback riding centre. So, yeah, the really cute, like, little um, brick-built pine trees look fantastic. Again, a nice little sort of unique type shape to this. I would say it is very skinny, as most friend sets are. So eight studs, sort of. Six to eight, yeah. Um, but again, really nice looking build. Um, again, obviously, because it is quite thin, it does mean that it is does have like the dollhouse style and all the playability at the back. So the two horse stables down below, like a little grooming area, I guess, over to one side of the stable. The steps up to the front door with the kitchen and like a little tea and coffee area and then the two like little sleeping bags up the top um, in the attic but yeah really cute really cute build I can imagine that um, these forest sets would probably look really nice with some of the adventure park sets that we got a few years ago with the friends line so this one the cabin which I haven't didn't get a chance to build tonight but we will build that at some other stage on stream um, and then the waterfall getting added into those sort of like um, adventure camp sets so I think in the adventure camp we got like a tree house type build and a few rafting builds and those sorts of things so yeah I think that that would be really awesome yeah Brickish can't wait for the next cabin update as well there we go Greg we've got <laughs> We'll all be waiting for Tuesday to see how the cabin's coming along. <laughs> yeah, it's a really cute, like, little set. Yeah, it is. It's gorgeous. It's something a little bit different with the foresty type theme as well, I think. Oh, my gosh, Josh, that's so fantastic. Buying a gaming PC this month, your bills will go up. Yes, I know. But, yeah, it's kind of nice to have that. Um that going on as well so yeah so there's our um builds for today so again really cool to have gotten a few like our nice little <laughs> our nice little shetland pony as well which looks gorgeous um it was great to get a couple more of the new horses as well i really like the the splodgy horses i think that they look really cool I liked the splodgy horses in the Magic Carnival as well. And then a few of the little side builds. Another dog. <laughs> I always need more Lego dogs to go into my dog collection. So, yeah, really cool, like, builds. Um, again, next week we will be doing the Elf Clubhouse, um, which should be really good fun. So that will be like our little bit of a Christmas in July. <laughs> um stream next week same time and all of that sort of thing as well so feel free to jump on over and there will probably be a few guests that will be building their clubhouses along with me um hopefully <laughs> but we'll see how I go I'm usually very very disorganized when it comes to inviting guests onto my stream so, so hopefully I'll get organized enough to send them the links and make sure that they're doing their thing so yeah <laughs> everyone's now hassling Greg this is Adora Build's happy stream. <laughs> Don't bully people into finishing their updates. <laughs> I have to buy some more base plates at Kmart or the warehouse. Yes, yes, Josh, get your base plates sorted. It's the, You need to be sleeping. And then Sloth is also going to try and make a Sloth City update this weekend as well. Should I introduce new citizens or just the comic book shop and the toy store? I always like seeing the citizens as well, but you don't have to do all of them, maybe just a, a, a couple, a few, a handful of extra ones. <laughs> and then London Bridge is saying, being busy on the beach and tracking down Black Series figures. <gasps> no, that's terrible. I just hate to hear that. No, no. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> but only stay up for a little while, Josh, and then get some sleep and then catch us on the replay and hang out with us in Discord. <laughs> Notice Greg very ad hoc collecting. <laughs> I think Greg's collecting is as bad as mine. I've got to have them all. <laughs> it's not a complete collection. <laughs> I completely agree, Sloth, completely agree. It's just so out of order. I just, I, yeah, it's just 
wrong. Absolutely no need. Same with homophobic and transphobic stuff as well. Just, just don't want a bar of it. <laughs> thanks so much, Josh. Thanks so much. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Greg, I have so, I have my list of some I'd like, and then it will settle down. I hope. <laughs> yeah, we've we've all been there. <laughs> that's, that's how I ended up in this mess. <laughs> Having too many, too much Lego, <laughs> and I don't think that we've got anybody else streaming at the moment, so I can't even send you over to anybody else's channel to check them out. So, but we will have to wrap things up because I have been streaming for three and a half hours. <laughs> this evening and then because I joined Taz and Josh this morning on um, the stuff in the judge I don't think that I can talk very much anymore <laughs> oh my gosh I would just yeah yeah no that yeah that's just so out of order yeah Robin just just yeah definitely let them know that that they've got our support you know it's same as what sloth said just let them know that that's not the norm and it shouldn't be the norm anymore i get very stern with people when they're horrible to others <laughs> i'm a lot better at being stern and telling people off for being mean to other people than being mean to myself <laughs> <laughs> because Josh is a great people. <laughs> yeah, it is completely disgusting, Joe. I completely agree. It's awful. It's so horrible to hear that. I'd just be like, thank you and goodbye. Yeah, so yeah, it was really good fun today, Taz. So yeah. Yeah, it was was it was awesome. Okay, I will have to wrap things up though. <laughs> It's 11.30 for me. It's 3 o'clock at 3.30 in the morning for Josh in New Zealand. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Sloth is saying because it starts with a J. J names were trendy for a really long time. Yeah, Josh, I know you should be. Yeah, we've got to wrap things up. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, exactly, Mama's Bricks. It's just not good. Yes, it was so lovely to have you pop in, Greg. Stay cool. If you have to, you can just take everything out of the fridge and climb in. <laughs> and just do that. Yes, yes. Take care, everyone in the chat. Oh, Khan is here as well. Hey, how are you going? I've had customers like that before and they es escorted out. No corporation I ever worked for picked a customer over an employee in a situation like that. Sad, sad day. Yeah, completely agree, completely agree. Yeah. <laughs> Mum's Bricks is saying we have more time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. See you next week, Josh. It was lovely having you in the chat for the first time as well. Take care, mate. And again, Darren and Coralie, I hope you've enjoyed your sorting and listening to me. And Mama's Bricks, I hope that you've enjoyed your sorting and listening to me ramble on for three and a half hours. <laughs> it's always great to have you in the chat as well, Joe. So take care of yourself, mate. <laughs> Love you all. Love you too, Josh. Take care. Yeah, take care, Thomas, as well. And Greg, it was lovely to have you here. Have a fantastic day too. Yes, as I always say, I absolutely love talking to you all on a Saturday. It's my favourite time of the week and I just think that you are all awesome. So enjoy the rest of your weekends, enjoy your Lego building and, yeah, take care of yourselves as well. 